Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Vintage Breaks. This is Johnny5 coming to you live from the 459 here in Central New Jersey. It is time for our PSA show. I have Soothing Lou on the line. Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear him? We are testing this. Hopefully this works. If you love the Patriots, stand up. Oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't. Um... They're, they're the only ones undefeated, right? Uh, San Francisco still? Oh, San Francisco. That's right. The Chiefs yeah. lost, so. Uh, Twice in a row. Did they really? Twice in a row? Yep. They've lost two at home in a row. Yep. Who did they lost to before this week? Who did they lose to? It was, it was Indy before this week, and then this past oh, week. It, that's right. Who the hell was it this past week? Uh, Texans. <clears throat> right, yeah. Ah, look at those Chiefs. Love it. Um, all right, so. Can I get started? Yes, por favor. We can do that. And you're going live on Facebook now. Do I hear, like, the intro? <laughs> no, not going to hear the intro. We're not doing the intro anymore. <clears throat> not in the... Oh, Jim raised his hand. He raised his hand? Yeah, uh, Jim. Jim Chu, which means that he heard you. Excellent. Because I did, definitely didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Good. Jim, you can hear Lou. That's freaking awesome. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the PSA show with Vintage Bricks. Um, I, want to, I want to open up the Facebook page so I can see people coming in. Layton will be with us shortly. There you go. Hey, what's up, Brandon? So, William or Ian? Have some patience. Yeah, let me scoot that over. Okay, great. That worked. <laughs> Loud and clear. Jim can hear you. Oh, you got it. It works, man. It was just one button. One button. Right. I like that. That would be a good band name. <laughs> one button? <laughs> no, Lou and the Breakers. <laughs> oh, okay. Lou and the Breakers. Uh, we officially gave a name to our Vintage Breaks viewers, Lou. Did you? Yeah, they are now officially called the Brickamaniacs. The Break of Maniacs? Break of Maniacs. Break of Maniacs. I like it. Yes. Shout out to Doug who came up with the name here in our office. Hey, what's up, Scott? What's up, Mark? That's right. Lou and the Heartbreakers. Although I can't. That's too big a mantle to carry. <laughs> Lou and the Heartbreakers. What about Lou and the Card Breakers or the Pack Breakers? <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, all right, guys. Yes, please move on over to the PSA show site. Um, there you go. Thanks, Doug. So James Gutshaw will be going over. Um, Jim, I, I don't think you have Facebook, or if you do, oh, you do have Facebook. You should definitely go to the PSA show site. Who uh, doesn't have Facebook? Uh, you know, some some folks don't like Facebook. They don't want their I mean, people under twenty five. Maybe don't have Facebook, but <laughs> not our demographic. Uh, true. 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 Uh, all right, so Sam is keeping track of everybody's comments. If you guys start a watch party, please type, after you do, please type hashtag watch party and Sam will give you an extra entry into our giveaways. Again, it is unique entries. So one name per comment, but if you start a watch party, you'll get a second entry. That's the only way to get an extra entry. See, James stay on YouTube because he deleted his Facebook again. <laughs> I'm sure there's a nice story behind that, Jim. I, I just, I don't think we have time. Uh, I'd like to hear the story too. We might have time? Sam says we might have time. Jim, we might have time. Uh, That's a good story I'll make. <laughs> anyway, what's up? He might tell his wife he deleted Facebook, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's up, Todd? What's up, Lucas? Brandon? Kevin G in the house? Teal Dumbkowski. Oh, Teal. Nice. All right, Nick Matiachi started a watch party, Sam. He's in. 
Nice. Uh, Benson, what's up? Political protest. Oh, Jim says political protest. Yeah, but which side? Well, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. True, true, true. Uh, I, I had to say this. Uh, guys, we are running a promotion uh, all day today. Uh, it, start, it started at 4 o'clock. It started at 4 o'clock. It ends at 8 o'clock tonight, and it must sell out. It must get filled up. Lou, I know you're a Red yes. Sox fan. I am. Look what I got in my hand. Ted. 1954 tops. Ted Williams, PSA 4. It looks like nice. a 5 to me. I don't know why it's a 4, but it looks like a straight up 5. It's very much off center, though, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit off yeah. center. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, the top has no white border. So, um, guys, you could win this tonight. One of you guys or ladies could win this tonight. Uh, it has to close out by 8 o'clock tonight. So, you have time. We need 125 entries at $50. 125 entries at $50. Also, we have our $50 all week promotion. So, you guys will be able to double dip. Lou, I think Lane explained to you the double dippage, right? Yeah, absolutely. We love a double dippage. Yeah, well, nowadays it's like triple, quadruple, penta, <laughs> like you name it. There's a lot of dippage going on this week. I was, I was curious how far you were going to go. <laughs> <laughs> penta dippage. I like that. Um, Exa dippage. Desa dippage. Have we done? Oct I, I don't know if we've done a desa dippage. Have we done a desa? We've octo dipped. So it's just five, right? Octo? We've octo dipped. Wait, yeah, octo eight. eight. We've never done eight. We have once. Mike did it. Mike did it once like a while back. Really? Yeah. All right. I listen. We've done an octo dip. <laughs> I wasn't there for that. Uh, hey, what's up, Ben? Guys, move on over to the PSA show page, please. Um, if you go to vintagebreaks.com on the top, you'll see in the band, like in the tabs, you see PSA show. Click on that, and uh, you will be able to get into the video feed. Hey, do you want to say something real quick? Okay. Yeah, we need our watch party started because we want to get our uh, live viewers over 100 today. You start a watch party by hitting the share button. It gives you an option to start a watch party. That will open up in another tab. Get that watch party started and then come back to this tab because that's where all the comments are. Uh, the other tab will start a whole different conversation. So we want you over here talking with us because we enjoy the audience participation. If you start a watch party... Uh, come back and comment on this page, hashtag watch party, and you'll be entered into you get a second entry into our uh, contest today. Nice. Done. And do we have, are we doing something for 100 live views today? Uh, we'll give away, for 100 viewers, we'll give away, instead of a $25 uh, giveaway for the watch party people, we'll do a $100. Nice. $100. So you can get that. Yep, you can get that vintage break credit up to. 100 and get an extra uh, extra entry. Hey, James, can you move that button to center bottom? Uh, James, we did it before. The problem is that when Layton shows the cards, like right here, it blocks off the, the entire bottom part of the card. And we don't want to do that. Um, and those uh, comments James, you been... see, that's not comments from the Facebook page. That's from our Facebook page. And yeah. nobody's really going to be on there. Not as, many, not as much as here at the PSA show. The placing of that banner has been an ongoing debate for weeks now. Yeah. Donald, <laughs> I see your watch party. Donald Higgins has got extra spots in. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Thanks, James. Can you shave my car? So, tell us a story from uh, Chantilly. Uh, a, a show from Chantilly. Um, story. <laughs> what did you see? What crossed your path? The best story of Chantilly. Show, I, I would say the best part of Chantilly is the mango frozen mango margaritas. Oh. That was delicious. <laughs> I, I I would, I think there's now two Chantilly shows a year we go to, um, and there's this Mexican restaurant there in the same plaza, and those frozen mango margaritas are, they're uh -oh. just delicious, delicious. Nice. It's authentic Mexican food. It's authentic Mexican and Salvadoran. It's a mix. Salvadoran. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's just it's just delicious, delicious. Um, that was <laughs> that was the best part out of the Chantilly show. Um, yeah. Oh, chasing tails. Chasing tails was another one. That was uh, 
Do I have a picture? I don't have my phone with me, but we had a uh, first time I had crawfish. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. And a etouffee or, or deep fried or how do you have it? It, it, it was sauteed. Sauteed. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sauteed. Um, we ordered two pounds of it for, for four of us. It wasn't enough. And I didn't realize it was just such a small part of the crawfish that you eat. Um, Oh, wait, no. they're not that big. They're not, and uh, you know, I wish I would order more. But then we have more food coming, so it's like, all right, at least I got to taste it. That was the first time I ever tasted. It. <laughs> John's best story is in the picture. My God, I'm giving time stars. <laughs> James, today we are breaking a seventy-nine toss football, seventy-eight toss baseball, seventy-seven toss baseball, uh, and if we have time, a sixty-two top Civil War new cello pack. So a lot, a lot of store. Uh, uh, Stan brings up a good point. If you're going to do your watch party, you can do it in groups as well. So if you have other collectible groups you're a part of, by all means, start a watch party in there, or any group. Yeah. Get your swing, your knitting group, whatever. We'll Something. take it. Uh, Nick Matiachi, I saw your comment. I will talk to Rod, make sure it went out. Um, Jude auto dip with Mikey six or so weeks ago. Ah, uh, Jude Vaughn. Oh, I see, Sam, you're right. We're halfway to 100, guys. We're at 55 right now. Yep. 55. We came so close last week. 98, if I remember. <laughs> 98 viewers. Check. It was a nice Check. little tease. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that is the Ted Williams 54 Tops giveaway, guys. At 8 o'clock, we have to hit. 125 spots at $50. So that will be there. I do have the prizes here for our Facebook giveaway, but I will let Layton uh, tell you guys what that is. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. <laughs> uh, and we have a PSA reveal tease. I don't know what you're going to call it. PSA reveal tease. Yeah, it's just a few cards of a PSA. Not doing a reveal, we're just teasing. Yeah, we're just teasing, giving you guys a nice little uh, batch of cards from different people. Um, so tomorrow will be the full PSA reveal. Uh, it came like an hour ago, and I didn't have time to get through all the cards, so I just grabbed the best ones. And um, hopefully, your names in here. Uh, you know, PSA, <laughs> PSA. Uh, is very busy as you guys know and the return time varies on how busy they are so um, I'm just glad that we got signed back today I'm happy as much as you guys are happy to see something come back so <laughs> hey they're busy they got a lot going on I know, I know. hey Matthew planning on any bounty today um perhaps maybe not sure you'll just stick stick around Matthew, I see you're on Facebook. You're on our, our Facebook page, which thank you for visiting. But today, Wednesdays, every Wednesday, we, we do a PSA show. And PSA's Facebook page hosts our, um, our show for an hour, from 4.30 to 5.30. So I'm going to show you how to get into that because we give away seven prizes for free. All you have to do is comment on the chat on their our Facebook page and let me uh, at least give you an idea how to do that now. So watch the screen. Uh, I want to go to our Facebook page on the top. Just click on PSA Show. And since you're already uh, logged into Facebook, it'll take you straight into it. You want to go here where it says Videos and it's live. Click on that. And then just click on our feed. Yeah, how to do that now. And I want you to start so commenting in this screen. section. That's the only way to get in, Matthew. So go ahead and do that right now before the lightning pops in. And uh, you'll be taken care of that way. And it goes for anybody else who's on our Just Collect or Vintage Space Facebook page. Just move on over to PSAs. Yes, please. Lou wants to see you and say hi and you do. chat. And we have 50 viewers. We start a watch party. Um, you get an extra spot into our giveaways. Can I just tease you guys with what's in here? Um, yes. Let's just say that first place is going to get a $50 break credit. And somebody on the list is going to get a 59 tops Frank Robinson PSA 3. Um, oh, with the vest, I like that. Yeah, it is marked. 
but somebody in the top seven will get this. I won't say where and what position, but that's all I can do for now. It's just a tease. It's just a tease. I'm not going to show the prizes there. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Chris. Uh, JP, what's going on? Sean Dooley. Vaughn Bailey. Yeah, so Layton's almost done. He's about, to, he's about to hop on. First pack we want to do is a 79 football pack. It is a personal for Stephen Gatt. 79 football. I believe there's 14 cards in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's just throwing 15 just in case. Rob, what's going on? Do I pick up any new Macro Collegiate Basketball? Perhaps, Rob. Perhaps. <laughs> Man, I'm all, about, I'm all about the tease today. I'm all about the tease. Yes, you are, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be the first pack for Steven Garrett. Tim Halley, J5 is a true American hero. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I just try to do my best and I do it for you guys. So, I love <laughs> each and every single one of you. <laughs> oh, you got that down. America. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, there's Steven. Chris Bruner, what's going on? Uh, if I start the set once I get them back. Chris Bruner. Chris Bruner. 86 Fear. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that package, Chris. Yep, yep, yep. Still waiting for it. Hey, what's I up, Heather? It. Welcome, yep. Yeah. John Wayne, hello. Thank you. Stan Orr is in the house. All right, so Sam is keeping track of everybody's uh, comment and watch party submissions. Lane is ready. He's just yes, sir, finishing right. his powder. Very good. All right. All right, Lou. I'll talk to you a little bit. All right, John. Thanks. Bye. Right. Did you go over the participation promo yet or not? Yes, I did. Okay. I didn't go over the, the prizes yet. Not the prizes. No. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, what's up, Lou? How are you? Layton, how are we doing? Oh, pretty good. Thanks. How about yourself? Yeah. Uh, not bad. How is Chantilly? Oh, Chantilly was excellent. Uh, really, our team was unbelievable. We had a ton of fun both at the convention uh, as well as a Chase and Tails, eating crawfish, getting our hands dirty. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Every time I pulled up Facebook, I saw John's face. He was a savage. Uh, yep. He worked really, really hard. Uh, the team behind him, Robert and Sam, was fantastic. Uh, and like I said, we had a lot of fun. You know, I personally got to walk around and buy a lot of stuff, which is fun, you know, for me. Um, and of course, back in the saddle today for the Vintage Breaks PSA show. I'm very excited about that. Want to tell us your big get, your big buy? It was, I would say, nothing in particular that really struck me as, um, you know, rare. But I was just able to right. buy a, a nice volume of anything from nothing 60s, some 70s individual packs. Um, and a bunch of 80s stuff all the way literally to almost present day. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, the folks down there are really great. And, uh, you know, I took the train to and from, so it's uh, a little bit different than I'm used to. I haven't taken a train on that kind of distance in quite some time. So what did you think? What did you think of the train ride? Uh, I mean, in general, it was great. I actually paid for business class, but it was kind of funny. So on the way out, um, the guy says to me, uh, son, I think you're in the wrong car. And I'm like, yeah, no, I know the business class is over there. It's really hot. I'm like, can you turn down, you know, turn up the AC? He's like, he like does one of these, like, you know, I can't help you. I'm like, no problem. I'm not bothering anyone. I've paid for a more expensive ticket. I'm in the lesser right. ticket. It's just, I, I don't want to sweat. It's a five hour train ride up. You understand? <laughs> Guys, like, I hear you, you know? So um, in general, I thought the train was great because I was able to do some work, could use the phone, you know, could sleep a little bit. Um, yep. And, uh, it was really funny leaving i was a little nervous because as i was telling sam the there was no train the train was probably 15 18 minutes late but like this train station was in manassas virginia i would say yeah. it's the middle of nowhere but there's not a lot going on or right around there other than the downtown 
So I'm it's looking, next door. I'm looking oh, no. left. I'm looking right. Like, where's the train? I don't hear anything. Like, the train's pretty big. Where is it? <laughs> um, and, you know, I guess uh, what happens out there is there's only one track. So they, you know, like, in order to move things along, yep. sometimes I guess you have to delay depending on what's going on. Yep. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I wanted to say hi to everyone, of course, on the PSA Facebook page. And, of course, if you're on the um, Facebook page for Vintage Breaks and YouTube uh, channel for us, of course, we uh, appreciate it as well. However, if you want to participate in our Vintage Breaks participation promo during the PSA show, the only way to qualify is if you watch us on the PSA Facebook um, page, which you can find us at facebook.com slash PSA card. Um, and this week, of course, we're going to have seven prizes. We're going to go over those right now. Um, there's a $50 break credit. Uh, and as J5's already mentioned, folks, we do this uh, to have fun. Um, and we're giving away these prizes. The only thing that we ask you to do is to enjoy the show and to participate by writing something in the chat about you picked up at a local card show this weekend, or for that matter, you had a fantastic meal locally you'd like to tell us about. We'd love to hear about it. Um, we had our own down in Virginia. Folks were great. Uh, so it's $50 break credit, 69 tops. Um, so I don't know if this like, thing's acting up. It's a little bit echoey. Yes, <laughs> just a little bit. Um, 69 tops baseball set break spot. 73 tops baseball set break spot, a 1975 tops mini set break spot, and then a few other cards um, that we're going to give away for free as well in the participation promo this week. So a 1991 tops Desert Shield Gary Sheffield, and we recently mm -hmm. just got in some packs. We did sell out three of them this weekend. Um, no chipper, but we got a few uh, decent uh, gradable cards. Very, very uh, desirable set from the 90s, very popular. So we'll give out that as one of the prizes. This, Sam and Dougie, we're going to give away to try to get some of the mojo back with the Yanks. I'm not kidding. So I'm going through this morning stuff, you know, just organizing. I'm like, so to me, Lou, I collected this card, this era, 91 Leaf Gold Rookies Bagwell, who is now in the Hall of Fame. So it's a cool right. card, but I don't want any Houston Astro stuff around me. I want to give it away. Doug just said put it in the freezer. Yeah, You think the Yankees need that? That's how thin the line is here for the Yankees? You know what it is? I'm just going back to how it was when I was a kid. So I'd hit yep. my dad on the arm. I'm like, Dad, what are you doing? The Jets just scored, and you're getting up now? What? <laughs> you have to stay in your seat until things turn. And so I just feel like, hey, the Yanks are in a little bit of a pickle right now. Bagwell's been residing in my house slash my inventory. I don't want Get him anymore. Out. Get him out. I want him out, and all of a sudden things start to change. We're going to point to this very moment whether you like it or not. So we're going to give that away. And then also, I thought this is kind of interesting. So it's not very tonight's valuable. Tonight's rainout doesn't help. I'm sorry, what would you say, uh, Lou? Tonight's, tonight's rainout doesn't help. doesn't help the Yankees. You know, I just want them to win. I agree with you. That's, some say that it's good. Some say that it's bad, that it's going to be rained out. I mean, it is likely going to be rained out. It's pretty nasty over here. I think it's already been called. Oh, it has already been called? It's already been called. Yep. Oh. Called hours ago. Dougie, that's why we have you here. I told you it got rained out. Uh, to be fair, uh, you might have done that. I, just, I wasn't paying that close attention. Um, so, all right. Well, apparently now it has been decided, and Doug, they asked Doug. Actually, Doug decided. Um, so, anyway, the last prize we're going to give away today is, hey, what's up, Jim? Uh, Rob, we did not pick up any new Immaculate Collegiate. We are working on it. Um, hey, Ben, welcome back, bud. Um, so, we're going to give this out today. It's a 1959 Topps Frank Robinson PSA 3 MK, so it's a lower grade Someone wrote Knight on the back, and the reason why I'm bringing it up and giving it away, I'd love to know, at least from my perspective, when I was a kid, I did a lot of things to my cards. I didn't really write on them. So I'd like to know for the collectors that are out there, my age, a little bit younger, a little bit older, if you wrote on your cards, what did you write on it, and why? I'd like to yeah. know. So I thought that was kind of interesting. All right, so those are the seven prizes for the day. Oh, wow, they called it this morning. Apparently, I've been in the foxhole. All right, uh, so your ride back from Chantilly, was it on Sunday or Monday? It was on Sunday. Did you get to see the Jets win? I uh, got to see the Jets win, and um, I watched the first part of it uh, on my phone. I got to finish the rest of it at home, and I realized when I came into the office, uh, I talked to everyone, J5 wasn't feeling that great. Uh, as he's a Cowboy fan, and I really wasn't doing it to stick it to the Cowboys. I was just so yeah. enthralled. The Jets figured out a way to win a game, Sam. I wasn't trying to, you know, to upset J5, but but I think he was a little upset. 
<laughs> he should be. Yeah, Sam Sam was on the road with him back, so those guys took the van. I took the train because there's no more room in the van for me. And Sam said, yep, J5 was upset. Jason Garrett looked like a guy who had just contacted his real estate agent during halftime. Oh, my goodness. Did you see? I thought it was a great cl uh, clip. Looks like, players horrible. are coming off the field. He's trying to give him five. They're ignoring him. I yeah. mean, I thought that happened, like, when you're playing, like, in Pee Wee football. Like, you're mad at your buddy or your coach. Like, these are yeah. grown men that don't like their coach. That's not good. It's not good for Mr. Garrett. Um, so, anyway, I wanted to show this off. This is a really cool uh, – we didn't do pop reports for this. So, uh, Sam, I'm not sure if you can help me or maybe because you're keeping track of the names, we get Dougie to help me. Um, the, some of the cards we're going to show off here, uh, Doug, we'd like to know the pop report for them. So, these are cards. We finally got back a nice package from PSA today. Um, you know, as a lot of folks know, they're very busy. Uh, so it's funny, I was talking to my good buddy Chris Gilmore from Freedom Cardboard today. The number one thing I'm telling folks is if you want your cards back from PSA faster, pay them more money and pay for the increased service. That's the only, oh, really? That's the only, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that that's going to definitely work, but I know that when I call about my bulk orders, they're like, Leighton, you're a swell guy. If you want your cards <laughs> back faster, pay more money for the faster service. I'm like, you know, yeah. It's a really interesting point. I'll consider that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're going to show off right now. Oh, and by the way, we have a nice little crowd going uh, today on our Facebook page. And of course, um, uh, it looks like our a very own Facebook page. Between them both, we have about 195. So we're looking for 100, of course, in the uh, Facebook page for PSA. All right. Everybody hop over to the PSA Facebook page, please. Yes. So uh, we yes, Charles, we finally have a long last PSA reveal. Um, I'd love to know the pops on these as we go. We've got some really nice cards here. So this is for Mark M. PSA 10 from a 6 Series 70 Top Solo Pack right here live on the Vintage Break Show. We pulled a Mike Ryan PSA 10. Uh, if you could check Mike it out Ryan. for me. Mike Ryan is from my hometown. He is? He is. Huh. Interesting. Haverhill, Massachusetts. Okay. Member of the 67 Red Sox. Oh, uh, 591, Dougie. This is great also. Check this beauty out. From an 81 Opeachy pack. Ooh. I, I, got, I got to look up the pop now. I got to tell you. I can't wait for Doug. This is coming. <laughs> All right. So give me one second. 11 10s. So 11 10s on that one. On the, uh, on the baseball. Yeah. All right. So we're going to look up the Gretzky. Let's check it out. Because Opeachy is notoriously very, very tough. Of course, I'm Everybody get the party started, please. Yeah. Uh, hit share, hit watch party, uh, and start it on your page. Start it on a group. Go find a group, especially a good collecting group, and bring some more people to the party here at the Vintage Breaks. Great. So that's a Pop 16, gorgeous Wayne Gretzky leader card, PSA 10 straight from a pack. 16. Yep, that's Kevin W. Oh, he's got the Pops. Oh, check out this beauty. Look at that. Bobby Orr. PSA 10. It's one of the best vintage hockey cards we've ever pulled. It's really cool. Beautiful, yeah. That's nice, Arnie. Thank you. So Arnie was just mentioning that this Gretzky is about 600 and I think the spot in this break is probably 15 bucks. So that's not a Gretzky card. That's like a Gretzky special edition card? It's a leader's Leader. card. So it's an Edmonton yeah. Oilers card featuring the leaders of the Edmonton yeah. Oilers. And obviously Gretzky led them in points. Um, yeah. And so that was a very popular thing that uh, Opeachy did, you know, during their respective sets. <laughs> um, you know, I, I just think that the early Gretzky Opeachy cards are impossible to find in 10. So this is a real keeper. Um, and I think what's really great about these, uh, especially, you know, if, if you want our help, we'll ha we're, we're happy to do that for you. But the fact that these were pulled live on a show on YouTube and you can go back and get the URL and you can yep. now show your friends, this is the raw card I got, here's the <laughs> PSA 10. I just I think that's really cool. It, it takes it collecting to the next level. So that's Kevin W. So Leroy, we'll get back to your gorgeous Bobby Orr. I don't know where James going with his comment on Bobby Orr, but that's okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, so the, for the folks that are looking up uh, pop reports, so this is a pop 10, you can do so at psacard.com and they let you do that for free. So I encourage you to check it out. It's a great resource. This is nice, just a regular 98 Bowman Peyton Manning, PSA 10 rookie. Yep. 
These are not all the cards. J5, we'll go through them with you either today or tomorrow. Um, these are just some of the highlights we want to show off because it's been a while. We've been waiting for PSA. Here's a Tim Duncan Hall of Fame rookie Chrome PSA 10. Mm -hmm. Always popular, the 92 Stadium Club high number Brett Favre. PSA 10. Oh, look at young Brett Favre. I like. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm confused here. Does this say, oh, there's no 10s, but it's not a 10. I got excited if it was a pop one. <laughs> All right, so here is a, a PSA 9 from a 6 Series Cello. This belongs to our good buddy Mark. Aram from the Atlanta area. There is no tens on this card, and I got to tell you, I'm going to do another look at this. But Mark, first glance here, this looks like a review. This card looks beautiful. Yep. And just the PSA eight for good measure. The only reason it's got an eight, slightly off center, left to right, but a really nice Lemieux rookie pack fresh that we pulled here, live on the Vintage Break show. Great, great player. Oh yeah. Uh, if you have a card that you know is not a 9 or a 10, but probably a 6, 7, or 8, would you have it graded or try to sell it without grading? Um, it depends on the value of it. So if the 6, 7, or 8 is still worth 50 $100, $200, I might have it graded. But if it's one of those things where a 9 is 50 bucks and an 8 is making it up 15 I might not have it graded. It doesn't seem like it's worth the, the proposition. So I think it used to be back in the day that maybe you'd only look at you know, what your card would grade. But I think that right. once you understand collecting and you're returning your investment, you should look at what you think your card's going to grade and then what does it sell for in that grade, you know, so that way you can have a little better idea of what your costs are going to be and if it's actually worth it for you to grade that card. Right. So a full reel will be coming up later on. Uh, this is just a little bonus. Uh, J5, you mentioned the Teddy Ball game? Yep. So that's the Teddy Ball game. J5 will tell you more about that later. It does have to close out tonight. It's a $50 promo. J5 will take over at 5.30 and go over all the details with you there. Um, I did want to mention before we open our first pack, and our first pack is, for, is going to be for our good friend Stephen Garrett uh, from the South. Uh, it's a 1979 Topps football wax pack. Um, possible Earl Campbell rookie card. Um, so what I'd like to do is mention real quick, I'm going to go to the uh, blog. Our blog for our company you can find at justcollect.com slash blog. We just bought a recent collection which J5 showed off last week. Um, probably from the 10s and 20s, so you know, about 100 years old. Uh, it was a strip card feature, a strip card collection featuring t um, featuring uh, six roos, six cobs, a bunch of Tito sixes. What made this collection uh, so special to us is that um, it comes from a gentleman uh, named Warren and his family in New Jersey. And uh, about a year and a half ago, we bought the very famous T206 with the T206 Thai Cobb back, which sold in right. RA auctions for about $100,000. Uh, so this was the rest of the collection. We tried to buy the whole collection at the time. They were not really interested in selling it. Um, they decided to sell it at this point. Uh, and so um, I know J5 showed off some of it. Um, we're going to give away this T206 on the program today. We're going to have you read a little excerpt from the book at some point. A little Baltimore uh, Jackson minor leaguer. Maybe we'll do that in right. Guess That Gum or something. We'll figure it out. Um, so these are some of the uh, highlights of the cobs and the roots from the collection. I just want to show those off, and we'll get to breaking. Pretty cool. You know, Lou, a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of these in the last five years have gone up a lot, meaning, you know, five years ago, seven years ago, had you tried to buy these, people didn't really accept strip cards yet. No. I mean, they did, but they didn't. They weren't worth as much. And I, and I think the reality of it is, and it makes sense to me, hey, listen, you know, they didn't have a lot of cards back then. So if you want Ruth in some of these early 20s issues, there's an exhibit example, maybe one or two other regional issues, but there's certainly not much. Uh, so what I like about strip cards is they were distributed mainly nationally, um, you know, which meant is it acted like a baseball card set, you know? So is there a model for the reason why a particular set or issue will take off? Um, I mean, I think that it has to do with the player selection. So I can tell you right now, if there's a Babe Ruth in that strip card set, much better of a chance to become more desirable and go up. You know, some mm -hmm. of the lesser strip, club, uh, strip card sets don't have a Ruth or a Cobb in it. And maybe they're really tough to find, so people don't really want to exert the energy to find them and then also not be rewarded with having a Cobb or a Ruth in that set. All right, I've got Jackson if you want to hear it. Uh, great. So, folks, uh, we're going to read some facts out of the T206 book that Lou helped collaborate on. And what we're going to do is right after the 79 Tops football pack, 
We're going to give away this T206. Lou, I'm going to let you figure out how you're going to do it. If you want to give away a trivia, uh, you want to do it a trivia question or some other fashion, just let me know. But we're going to give this away to you today on the Vintage Breaks PSA show. This is straight from the New Jersey Family Strip Card Collection and other stuff that we just recently bought. You can find the full story on our blog at justcollect.com slash blog. All right. Uh, James Benner Jackson was one of the players who followed John McGraw from Baltimore to the Giants in 1902, but he was released after hitting just 182 in New York. Jackson went to St. Paul in the American Association and hit 21 homers and stole 42 bases over two seasons and just 282 at-bats. He returned to the majors in 1905 to play for Nap Lajoie in Cleveland and then hit 236 over two seasons in 800 at bats with two homers and 40 stolen bases. Jackson was back in the minors in 1907, finished out his pro career with 10, se- with 10 seasons playing for the Columbus Senators of the American Association, the Baltimore Orioles of the Eastern League, the Scranton Miners of the New York State League. He was then the player manager for the Wilming- Wilmington Chicks in the Tri State League. He retired in 1917 as a 284 career hitter in the minors. Well, love uh, those facts. Thanks again, as always. Uh, we're going to give that card away on the show at some point today. Lou, just let me know what you think is the best way to do it. wanted to have a shout-out here to our good buddy Rick L. We met him at the convention this weekend along with a few others. Um, we had our good buddy Mikey Sun was on. He opened a pack on Sunday. Uh, and then I don't know if you heard, but we had Josh uh, Luber from StockX. Uh, I believe he's the co-founder. Um, he was on for us. Uh, he was on with us for a few minutes, talking about um, what he collected as a kid, and of course StockX. And um, believe it or not, StockX is moving into collectibles and cards. Uh, so I encourage everyone to check it out. Nice, very nice. All right, here's the first pack of the today uh, of the day today. This is a 1979 Tops football pack for Stephen G. That'll be a great idea, Kev. We'll try to do that for you. We're going to uh, link up to your uh, book uh, on the Facebook page so people can check it out if they want. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can find a link to that. Not my book. I was just working on it. Eh, Listen, it's still nice to contribute. Absolutely. What's going on, Kev, John, and Chris? Hope all is well. For the folks who are watching us on our Vintage Breaks Facebook page, if you'd like to be eligible and have your comments be seen, just hop on over to the PSA page until 5.30. Then, of course, you can resume your regularly scheduled watching activities. And, of course, the Yankees will not be on tonight, but Vintage Breaks will be there for you. We're not rained out. We'll be here till (laughs) 8 o'clock. I was beginning to think the Astros have a little of that in their DNA. They did not play very well against the Red Sox last year. They didn't play well against Tampa. I was beginning to wonder about them a little bit. This is really nice. Check this out. Gorgeous Bob Greasy Hall of Fame beauty. Very nice, Stephen. Man, when they lost game three, that was a crusher. But it's not over. Still got some time. We'll see. It is not over in the least. Exactly. We'll see. Hey, Stephen, how are you? Got a nice card to start. Rick, uh, thanks for the kind words, bud. It was great meeting you as well. So uh, nice going to the uh, the shows and being able to see people in person. You know, uh, know. it'd be great if we could uh, meet everybody in person, kind of put a, a name to the face for everyone. Yeah, every every once in a while in Sirius, we get to do a remote and get out there and you know in a restaurant or it's on fun. site with somebody. And it's God, it's you love meeting the people that you talk to every week. Yeah. Harry Carson, I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Stephen, it looks like he has a, a nine ten chance. I'm gonna check out it afterwards. Just wanted to uh, get through the pack for you, but yeah, it's it certainly seems gradable, Stephen. Greg Buttle. All right, so that is your 79 Tops football pack. Clearly the best card and one of the coolest with the glasses under the helmet. That is a beauty, Stephen. We'll make sure we check that out for you. I actually put that on top. All 
All right, Lou, so before we open up the 19... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. We're in, the 80s. we're in the 80s, so get those watch parties started oh, again. Get going. We're close enough. I didn't think we were going to I didn't think we were gonna threaten it tonight, but it looks like we are. Hey, listen, we can go on a run, so can the Yankees. By the way, John and I put up big numbers last week. That's all I'm going to say. I got to tell you, I was thinking about not coming back this week. <laughs> it's like, you know, that, that's what happens in the NFL. You take off a week, you got a personal issue, or you got something to do. The quarterback, the backup comes in, the guy's hungry. I mean, like, really hungry. And all of a sudden, you're like, you know what? The guy had a perfect quarterback passer rating. How can you pull him? You get Wally pipped. The, the Yanks are getting, I mean, the Yanks. J5's getting better numbers. Than, what am I doing here? Hey, J5, I got, really, I got stuff to do. I'm leaving right after anyway. You want to hop on? I mean, I bet I hear you doing work over there. Um, seriously, um, really appreciate uh, you, J5, uh, as well as Lou last week um, doing the show for us. Just oh, out of respect to uh, you know the holiday and such, I didn't feel it was right to uh, you know to go on air. Um, but once again, it is the top of the hour, and I just want to say this weekend. I mean, we had a blast. We're laughing in the booth. We're pulling <laughs> card after card. We're giving away stuff. We're meeting customers in person. Uh, the only yep. thing that we're missing, and um, we're saying it on air so we can get Darren Prince to help us next time. But we're hoping that uh, Robman and Charlie Sheen will will come down. Uh, I heard, of course, from my connection to Robman. Uh, Darren got the text too late. It was, you know, he was in the middle of a fishing trip. It was like, you know, it didn't feel that great to find out. Of course he would have done it for you if he just known a little bit sooner. Uh, I'm like, yep. Yeah. And if I just had the lottery tickets, uh, with the winning numbers right before they announced it, I would have done very well myself. Um, but Hey, you know, maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know. How should we give this card away? I'm, I'm kind of at a loss here. You know, we could talk about, see, the thing is I don't have trivia questions in front of me, so I certainly have the archive. But what happens with the archive sometimes is we cause chaos. Um, and so I'm thinking with a little bit more skill, if you will, to name a trivia question. For example, like I don't know the answer. If I did, mm -hmm. I would do this. What's the last um, baseball playoff team that came back for 3-1? Oh, I don't know. I mean, know. I don't know. Someone did. I, I know one team in 2004 that did it. So, I mean, you know, I'm not saying to use that question now it's out of the bag. I'm thinking yeah. something like that. So I'll leave it to you while you're considering while we're going to open the next pack, 1978 Topps Baseball, Wax Pack number 72. All right, G5, you can uh, help me guide, help guide me through. Cubbies? Wow, that's pretty cool. So Dougie just said the last team to do it was the Cubbies. When they were down 3 1, and then they came back to win the World Series. Well, I got a minor league question, I guess. Sure. I like minor I like, league baseball. I liked in that piece where he, he talked about playing for the Memphis Chicks. Sure. So I, good good minor league names are always fun. And Great. So I've so got one. What, yeah, what do you got? Let's roll with it. I like it. Not sure uh, everyone would know this off the top of their head. Uh, the Eastern League, that's the double A uh, franchise in New Hampshire. What's their team nickname? There you go. You'll have till 5.30 to get that. I don't know that I get it by 5.30 myself, but yeah. if people have the ability to use Google, they should be able to figure it out. Um, yep. So that is Lou's question for this T206 of Jackson from Baltimore Minor League. We'll give that away as soon as someone gets that answer. Clark got it. Clark Standish wins. Oh, he did. Congratulations, yep. Clark. It's a nice card. Apparently, uh, he needed about 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. It's the Fisher Cats. New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Oh, I should have asked what their original name was before they changed it. They had a name before they went to the Fisher Cats. It was the New Hampshire Primaries. All right. It was a, it was a good logo, too. Yeah, nice, uh, nice job, Clark. Thanks for the question, Lou. Six times we're going to randomize the list. Ben, thanks for hanging with us, bud. All right. So I was able to fit in a haircut today because of the rain. Uh, they told me someone canceled, and they were yeah. kind enough to fit me in. Thank goodness. It was, it was a little Looked crazy. Good. Yeah, it, was, it was a little you crazy. Go, you have to go on standby for haircuts down there? No you super know, cuts? You, you, know, you know what it is? Well, I won't do that. I won't do that. Oh, you don't? Nah, nah. It's got to be like above that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the thing is, I... is there's very few things I have, right? <laughs> and, and so one of them is I've heard I'm lucky that I still have my hair. 
you know, the last time I went to one of those places a couple years ago, I left there. It was like a circle on my head. I didn't feel right. I, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just not doing it. So the yep. problem is, you know, this girl's in demand. I don't call enough ahead of time. So I'm more of like one of those standby people and I tip well. So they'll try to fit me in if, if there's a spot, yep. you know. So you have a girl. I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, she's great. Yep. Um, all right, 1978 Tops Baseball Pack, number 72. Uh, all right, great. First card's going to Dennis. Last card's going to John A. Yeah, we weren't going to try that, were you? <laughs> Aegis? Aegis? Th- John, how do you say John's last name? Is it Agius? Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Agius, okay. All right, so actually, this is the first card. Oh, Kevin, that's good. Now we're on the minor league names, apparently. All right. Hey, for you uh, folks that don't know, we have a fantastic $50 bonus promo running all week, three prizes only, and the way that you qualify is to buy any spots at all on vintagebreaks.com at one time that adds up to $50, and it'll get you an entry. We're going to give away three boxes, or excuse me, three prizes, two boxes and a rack pack. So we're giving away a 2019 Topps Luminaries box, where every card is numbered to 15 or less in that set. We're giving away a 2019 Panini Baseball Immaculate Box on Sunday at 8 o'clock and a 1979 Topps Baseball Rack Pack. Check out the photo of it on our Vintage Breaks Facebook page. We're giving it away from Vintage Breaks South location on Sunday at 8 Mm o'clock. I don't know if you heard this, but uh, Chris absolutely ran the first of its kind promo the other day. It was a pulled pork promo. Oh, I did, you know, I actually fell across it. I actually fell across it. Yep, and he wasn't, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not a joke. He uh, takes his pulled pork very seriously, and apparently <laughs> if you spend a certain amount of money, he's sending you pulled pork. And when I was talking with Chris earlier today, he says, you know, Leighton, usually when I cook, like I'm out there singing and dancing, you know, having a good time. He goes, now yep. I feel pressure, because now there's people who got it as a bonus, and if it doesn't live up to its name, they're not going to be happy. Right. So it was, it was kind of it was kind of funny. So I should have taken a picture, and I'm going to go back and try to get one. But you know, we talked about the Oscar Gamble card you had on your desk. Yes. And about Dre Beats coming out with an Oscar Gamble pair of headphones. Yeah. That look like Oscar Gamble's hair. Yeah. Well, Uggs beat them to it. They did. There is a furry Uggs. Uh, I don't know if they they must be just muffs. I don't think they're a headset. They're just muffs, and they're black, and they get a big. Puffy thing on it. I saw him in Marshalls, and I almost took a picture. I was just running oh, please late. do. I, I'm gonna definitely share that on social media. Oh. I love this. Derek, uh, who's our buddy north of uh, the border, just said Chris pulled us a PSA 10 pork, and apparently <laughs> James uh, Gotsall, uh, he apparently won one of the pork uh, bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see him on a straight face. But the thing is, Chris, I, I you know I don't buy our breaks, buddy, but like. I still would hope to qualify for some pork. Can you send some up here to my house? Um, yeah. I'd like to experience it for myself. I would. I'd like to try it, too. I'm a big yeah. pulled pork. Hey, I make my own pulled pork, yeah. but I'm a North. I, I don't so make it. I, mean, I know. I eat it. Yeah. Second year Gary Templeton for the Cardinals. <laughs> Ryan said I watched as I was eating plant-based sausage. Ryan, come on, man. Life's too short. <laughs> Oh, man, that's fantastic. Uh, plant-based sausage. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, it's, it wouldn't be for me, but hey, I, I don't judge. No, no. no I just you know, I want Ryan to live a little. I, you know, you know I listen, want Ryan hey, maybe, he, maybe he sleeps on a bed of nails. You know maybe. what I mean? Like, that's his thing, man. You know, I don't know. Stan says the best minor league team name is the Iron Pigs. That's not bad. Hey, out of curiosity, has anyone out there seen the Joker? You guys were oh. supposed to see it this week. You saw it this week in G Five? I saw it on Sunday, like Monday, Monday night. Okay, what'd you think? Uh, without saying much, he met the bar that Heath Ledger put up. Yeah, it was crazy. It was very intense, but it's not like one of these movies where you go to it and you're like rah rah, it's awesome. It was more yeah. just like an intense. It was an intense situation. Experience. Are you that kind of guy? I mean, I, I don't like uncomfortable movies. I want to see things blow up. I want to see the bad guy get um, it at the end. I see. I want, well, here's the thing. I didn't know what to expect. 
So I was thinking yeah. he was going to be blowing up stuff and going on comic capers, and I, I don't know. Um, I just appreciate it. For, it, it uh, by the way, Hall of Famer Joe Morgan, uh, spot 13. I don't want to disrespect him. Uh, Beast Greg won that. Um, you know, it just – it wasn't what I expected. It was still very interesting and good, but it was intense. It was intense. I wouldn't see it again, but I don't usually see movies twice. So. Yeah. yeah. At all or just in the theater? In the theater. I mean, I'll watch – you know, movies okay, twice. Right. You know, uh, yeah, of course. Are you kidding me? Uh, there's, uh, I mean, I, I have I mean, comfort movies that I just watch all the time. Oh, like Dazed and Confused. I mean, come on. You know, Eight Men Out. I mean, I could go on and on. Yep. There's, there's, you know, there's, there's tons of movies. Um, I remember the first time. Uh, there's a shout out to my good buddy Hef from Leland's. So I remember the first time. Um, I used to be really more into movies, you know, especially before my son was born. Uh, you know, and I didn't really have two jobs and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So I would ask, you know, people who were a little bit older than me for for recommendation or like movie buffs. Man, did you ever see Deer Hunter? No. Oh, it's really good. I mean, it's it? powerful. It's from the 70s. I think it's like uh, Christopher Walken's in it really young. Maybe De Niro's in it. Um, it's, it's, it's just really good. I remember the first time I saw it. Again, that's all fine. And you use the word powerful. I don't know if I want to sit down and watch a powerful movie. That's not my thing. No, it's not your bad. I want a little fun. No, I didn't. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you know, I know my go-to movie, my comfort movie. The one I, I, I own like six movies and I watch them all the time. Twister. Really? I, love I haven't Twister. seen it in a long time. <laughs> oh, Major, Major League I love. To. Are you kidding me? Major League. Any yeah. part of Major League that comes on, I pretty much have to watch it. Absolutely. We right. have a, on our Sunday show on Sirius, we have a coaches meeting every week and we sit down and just go over stuff for the upcoming week. And uh, Lou Brown opens us. It's all a major league opening. It's, it's great. Oh, really? That's great. That's going. Yeah. So this is interesting. So someone, I didn't realize this deer hunter apparently uh, won an Oscar. Someone said cool hand Luke. I don't think I've seen that movie. If that's a movie. Yeah. Yeah. It goes back a ways. Interesting. Oh, my other five movies: uh, Sahara, which no one will know. Great yeah, movie. I don't think I know that. Uh, that well. Hunt for Red October. Yep, October. certainly remember that. Yep. Great movie. What else have I got in there? Oh, Apollo thirteen. I like Apollo thirteen. Okay. Yep. And uh, well, Casablanca. Those are all. I good will choices. sit. Watch Casablanca. Yeah. All good choices. Oh wow! So apparently, uh, someone started a lot of watch parties, and we have a hundred million Holy people. Cow. Uh, I feel like it's a bot. I feel like it's like a bot. Yeah, no, there's definitely we've been botted. There's no nuts is going to be 433 people. We've been botted. Um, but uh, we're definitely going to give away a hundred dollar break credit after 150. We've been botted. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but God bless. Um, yeah, Mark here. Uh, it was a great book, Hunt for October too. AJ Five, when you get a chance here, we're going to open up the 77 Tops Baseball Wax Pack next. Sahara was the biggest box office flop in movie history. Oh, wow. It's a Matthew McConaughey movie, but it was the biggest box office flop in movie history because they spent a crap ton making that movie. Interesting. <laughs> they just lost a lot of money. Oh, Shawshank Redemption is one of the best, Dana. Absolutely. I watch that in college all the time. Yep. Usual Suspects. These are all great stuff. Yep. Hey, listen, thanks to the 100 people plus the 50 bots that are watching. We really appreciate it. <laughs> don't. don't. Don't jump to conclusions. I was I was being somewhat facetious. We appreciate everyone who's hanging out with us today. Really great Listen, show. Listen, everyone's getting out of Yankee Stadium after the rain That's out. That's right. Probably... It's like Yankee, Yankee, you know, the Yankee playoff game, vintage breaks, PSA show. Definitely. Yep. I'm thrilled to be mentioned even the same, uh, same breath. <laughs> uh, great. So we're going to now randomize the list live from the 459 today eight times. You'll be, of course, uh, able to watch the main event, J5, that is. At 5.30, so just a little bit. In about 10 minutes or so, though, we are going to cut off the names for today's participation promo. So if you've not said anything in the chat, please jump on in. Let us know if you went to a card show this weekend. Let us know if you had a good pulled pork or if you saw a good movie. You know, really, we're just we're here to chit-chat and hang out. Um, and uh, we're happy to give away these prizes. James is taking you to task. He says, what, we don't have two friends each? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> James, you're right. James, very, very, very good point. You know what it is? It just shot up like this. And I'm like, I don't know. Is my fly undone? I'm not sure. Uh, well, it was, you know, it was just, it was sudden, very sudden, like a rocket ship. 
Oh, uh, Donald said Slapshot. Slapshot. Oh, Slapshot Slapper. was really good. I remember seeing that when I was younger, like really young. And I think I asked my dad, was this based on real hockey? No, I didn't <laughs> yes, it hockey. was. You know, it absolutely was. <laughs> it, was uh, it was interesting when I figured all out what was going on with it. Um, all right, so uh, good luck to everybody in the 77 Tops Baseball Wax Pack. We're, of course, looking for an Andre Dawson rookie in high grade, a Dale Murphy rookie in high grade. Nolan Ryan, Pete Rose, Reggie, they all good, go for really good money in high grade. Let's see what we got here. James, you're going to have the first card in this pack. Well, oh, the big fair. chill. I remember the big chill. That was. Oh, there's a Nolan Ryan apparently on the back of this pack. I had no idea. Nice. That's pretty cool. So hopefully it'll be centered. So we're going to flip this over. That'll be card 10. Card 1 right there. Jim, just email Sam at VintageBreaks.com with any of your customer service questions. He'll be happy to help with most of them. <laughs> All right. How does Sam feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, David, how are you? Uh, you got it, James. Um, we opened up a gorgeous uh, 75 Tops Rack Pack. I believe James won it in a promo of ours. We just did list another one today, today James, at VintageBreaks.com. This is a nice card. I don't know the pop on this, but this is a nice one. Wayne Garrett. I remember Wayne. Here we still go. Still like those X forms. I had a Garvey PSA 10 one time. I think it's still pretty low pop. Things sold for like two grand. I was shocked. That's really the power of PSA. When you're talking about a card that doesn't book for a lot, but because he's popular, it's uh, tough to find in high grade condition. It's, it was the perfect storm. It wasn't a twister exactly, Lou, but it was a perfect storm. That's right. Okay. Uh, spot four, Woody Fryman. This is going out to you, Dennis, along with the next couple cards. Oh, and I wanted to uh, make mention, because I don't know if we've talked about it too much on here, but you know, Vintage Break South is now going into its fourth week. So kudos to yes. Chris. I'd say kudos to Chris and the gang, but the gang is Chris. So uh, down, <laughs> in the, down in the South, he hasn't recruited anyone to, uh, to help out yet. So if there is anyone... In uh, the vicinity of Chris in Atlanta, let us know. Um, he's breaking down there now on Sundays and Mondays. We're looking to expand slowly and surely. Spot six. Thank you, John. Very kind. We appreciate it. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> James, we're going to be starting a program for that. So James is just saying he has to change his name. Because uh, his wife thinks that she that that he's getting all these cards, you know, we could do rotations. You know, just give us like, like four it. or five names, and then every month you could just say to your wife, you know, on the on the next package, hey, it must be the neighbor, man. I, I don't know what happened, but you know, the guy's a lot of control. There you go, Mike Vale. So you think there's any stopping uh, Washington right now? I mean, they just oh, seem yeah. like they're. Oh, you do? You think they could be stopped? I, they're, they're, we've been underrating them for about half a season now. But Houston's a better team. Whether they'll play better or not, I don't know. And yeah. Washington's got it going, man. Yeah, Washington, yeah. they're just rolling right now. So this is spot And they 10. have those two good starting pitchers, and yeah, that's all you need to win. In baseball yep. playoffs, absolutely. So, James, yeah. this is the last card in the pack. This is your Nolan Ryan. If I had to guess, maybe squeeze out an 8, maybe a 9 OC, 8 OC. Um, nonetheless, if you'd like us to grade on the house, we will for you. Just let us know. Um, you know, I think it's pretty cool to have a Nolan Ryan 77 out of a pack that was pulled live on our show. Uh, but you let us know uh, what you'd like to do. We happy to do that for you. Okay. Always good to see Nolan coming out of the pack. Yeah, no, that's not an easy pull, that's for sure. Okay, thank you. All right, J5, we've got about 10 minutes left in our show today, but only about four minutes left. Excuse me, before we cut off the names for our participation promo, I'm going to go over those. You got it, James. Let me uh, tag that for you. Yeah, I think it's cool no matter what. Even if you get an 8OC, 9OC, just the fact that it came out of a pack on the show, I think it's a nice touch. Grade on house for James. Some of the guys are talking PGA in there. Are there PGA cards? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's some golf cards from the early 80s. And then, of course, uh, with the Tiger stuff in the early 2000s, you know, yep. golf cards kind of made a comeback. Uh, 
Do you have a personal oh, pack that opens? What were you saying, Lou? It's about time, James. He says he's on the PSA feed now. You gotta come over to everyone's gotta All come right, over. Alright, great. Yeah. Great, so we're gonna open up a personal pack while we have a few more minutes today on the show. This is the threat himself, James Ector. Nice. The record king. So, I love that t-shirt. I just got to wash it in my laundry. I was happy. <laughs> so something really might come out of this. Yes. That's how James rolls. Yeah, no, James uh, is usually has fantastic luck. Uh, so once again, participation promo and a chance at a $50 break credit is just a few minutes away here live on the Vintage Breaks PSA show. So if you want a chance, all you have to do is just leave a comment in the chat. About something you picked up this weekend, you're thinking about doing a big trade, making a big purchase, whatever the case is, show us some love and we'll get you in the promo. Derek Lydon says, I bet he gets the number one spot. We'll say again? Babe Ruth's bat that he used to his 500th home run is going to be on auction soon. Oh, by who? SCP auction. Wow, that's so a big deal. $1 wow, so apparently uh, J5 just, I, I'm not sure how he got the notification. ESPN. I didn't. Oh, okay, ESPN apparently, okay. Uh, apparently, Babe Ruth's 500 home run game used bat is coming up for auction at SCP Auctions. Uh, apparently, it's about a million dollar item. That's all. Uh, Dan Older was talking about the time that uh, Nolan took uh, Robin Ventura to the woodshed, as he put it. Ah. And uh, Nolan embraces that. I went to a, golf, a Nolan Ryan golf tournament <laughs> down there a couple of years ago, and in the swag bag was a golf towel, and I had a picture of him with uh, Robin Ventura in a headlock. Oh, so yeah, he's, <laughs> he's obviously very comfortable with the situation. I think they've all. I think they've made up. Yeah, yeah, listen, it's you know, it's in the heat of the moment, right? On the battlefield. They all take pride in it, I think. It's on the battlefield. All right, James, we'll see what we got for you, bud. Good luck. I don't know if you're watching. Hope all is well. Let's see what we got. I liked it when the pirates were mixing things up like the A's. Mixing those uniforms up. Yeah. He was a solid pitcher. Kuhn Andujar. I remember him. Oh, yeah, he was. Good life. Today we'd say high spin rate. I'd like to see his spin rate numbers. He had a lot of life. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So James said he pulled a 2017... Bowman's best red refractor, a number of 25 of Glaber Torres with Chris from Vintage Break South on Sunday night, and it's on the way to PSA. Uh, nice. Coming on the house with us. That's great. Very cool. It's uh, it's fun now when I'm hearing about stuff that happens on the South show. I'm like, what? I didn't know yeah. that happened. It's, it's fun. Yeah, wait till your, your kid grows up and he's out of the house and things happen to him that you don't know about. That's <laughs> it's kind of the same feeling. So... Um, do you remember, what is uh, Mike's son's name, the one who opened the pack with us at the show? Josh. Josh? So, uh, no, 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 not Mike who works for us. Uh, Mikey, who was at the show on Sunday, his kid came over. I think it might have been. Uh, we think it might have been AJ. Um, so anyway, he was, Mike was saying, you know, Mike's about my age, maybe a little bit older. He was saying that his kid loves us and watches all the time. When, he, when we told him that he could go on the show with us and open a pack... I gotta oh, tell nice. you, I was. Uh, if we can make people that happy, I'm, I'm ecstatic. Really, uh, okay. the kid was really, really happy. It was, it was really cool. <laughs> That's very sweet, Jeff. Yeah. Wayne, we got a bunch of great specials that we're going to talk about in just a few minutes. At the start of our show. I know we have a fifty dollars Ted Williams fifty four tops promo that has to close out tonight. J five will tell you more about it. And the names are cut off for today for the participation promo. And in just a minute, Sam will send me the list. And we will announce the seven winners. And G5 will do the $100 break credit following uh, on our Vintage Break show on YouTube, which, of course, you can find us at youtube.com slash vintage breaks. Worst hats ever. Those Brewers hats. That's bad news bearish right there. So no Donnie baseball looks like in this one, James. I know you're a fan of 84 Donners. Hopefully you're working on the set because I know there is a lot of sets registered in the PSA set registry. It's a very popular set. Ted was late to class. He says nice haircut, Leighton's. Loved Herbeck. 
Love hey, what's up, Chef? How are you? Herbeck used to catch the pickoff throws in the web of his glove and then slam it on the guy's ankle as he came totally back into the base. That. Herbeck was nasty in a good way. He was a great ball player. Yep. Jose Cruz, certainly remember his kid from the 90s. All right. So that is 1984 Donruss Wax Pack number 239, live from the 459 for you, James Ector. And just about now, let's cut off a look for recording. We're going to give away these seven prizes. Clark Standish, this is your free T206. Congratulations. Yes, he is, Mark, and he still is Texas branch strong. He really is. All right, so let's see if we can uh, get that list ready. Sam, you're, you're finalizing the list, I guess? Okay, great. James was with us in the break. No James was in the house. <laughs> so, James, how are you? Yeah, you probably do have a fair amount of cards from that set. Chris, we need you to send some pulled pork to the original chef himself. We want to see if it passes muster. <laughs> J5, should I tell everyone you're going to be doing the, the rest of the PSA uh, reveal? Okay. Okay. I, I didn't know what. He has his own thing he's doing. I don't want to stand. J5 now is a, he's a celebrity over here, so I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, hurt his show. Hey, he's working, man. Working? Are you kidding me? These guys really it was incredible this weekend. I couldn't go on Facebook without seeing his face. Yeah, this no, his, his mug was everywhere. My wife's like, "Are you working at the show?" I'm like, yeah, hey, Joe, I'm, I'm I... running around writing checks. That's all I do is give out money. <laughs> uh, believe me, I would much rather just break all day and hang out and have fun. Uh, okay. I'm going to have fun otherwise, but it's a little different. 11, yo. 11. 11, yo. Yeah, from the craps table. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks who are on the PSA show, thanks for joining us today. You see Charles's... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, J5, make sure you see that, bud. <laughs> Just tease everybody until, they yank, until they're angry. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry, 11 times, yes. You let them know you're having a special 7.30 a.m. viewing tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a lot of people tune in for that. Those are the, James, the, those are the folks who won? Yeah, James says he works for us. <laughs> <laughs> the chef just said Chris sells Amway also. <laughs> oh man, it's great. Chris sometimes will call me in the middle of the day. You know, Layton, this is a great deal on this, and it could be like I have no idea what he's saying. You know, but it's a good deal. I'm like, all right, I'll take one. Yep. <laughs> he's good at finding deals. Um, all right, great. So uh, these are the seven winners right here. I'm going to go over the prizes. Chris Holland, you want a $50 break credit. Congratulations. Tim Gorman, you want a 69 Tops baseball set break spot. And you can find more of those for sale at vengebreaks.com. George Jackson, you want a 73 Tops baseball set break spot featuring a Mike Schmidt rookie and a PSA 9. Heather W, 75 Heather. Tops mini set break spot. I've certainly seen your name or your dad's yes, name yes. or like family's name. Um, Billy Hansen, spot five. You won the Desert Shield Sheffield. Say that really fast. <laughs> spot six. Now things will change. Dallas, how crazy is this? The Bagwell is going out to someone named Dallas. Yep. Uh huh. And they're from Texas, the, uh, the Astros. Yeah, this was right to do this, J5. I see J5 Just with the Yankee shirt on. All the mojo for the Astros is now wrapped up in here and being shipped back to Texas. We're all good here. Just to recap, Layton's getting that out of his house to help the Yankees come back here. Exactly. Frank Robinson, PSA 3 MK. What's your favorite MK? Well, here's a knight written on the back of that. That's going out to you, Joseph B. Those are the prizes for today. Hey, thanks very much, everyone. It was a lot of fun. Really appreciate you tuning in to our Vintage Breaks PSA show. You can find us here every Wednesday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern, right here on the PSA Facebook page right. at facebook.com slash PSA card. If you want to continue watching us, you can find us two ways right now. One, 
hop over, hop on over simply to the Vintage Breaks Facebook page or to go to youtube.com slash vintage breaks. If you do, please subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we go live next. Right now, the real star of the show, J5, is coming up next. Thanks, Lou, and everybody else. Have a great week. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Get all your stuff. Mm -hmm. Gotta change your last one. Now. It <sighs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Layton, the star of the PSA show from 4 30 to 5 30. All right, Lou, I'll see you next week, my friend. Adios. Thank you, Thank Billy. You, Billy. All right. Yeah, let's yeah, move let's on move over, over back, back to PSA. PSA. I mean, PSA. <laughs> to our <laughs> regular <laughs> schedule program here, here at Vintage Breaks, Breaks. Live from the 459 in, in Central, Central New Jersey. Jersey. In the office in the today, today, we have, have our MVPs, our, our dream team. team. We have, we have Sam. Sam. Oh, he just posed. Oh, he just posed. Uh, Rob, Rapping Rob is here. The VIP entry giveaway was his idea, so he is the VIP on Sunday. Oh, are you kidding me? He wins it. Yeah, he wins it. And of course, we have Mr. Chaim himself, Doug Rush. The, I can't follow that. Um, the uh, <laughs> top uh, Luminaries mixer, mixer is now live. live. All, right, guys. All right, guys. Luminaries, Luminaries mixer, mixer, it is live. live. Just to give you guys, guys a, a heads up, up, though, it is it on is the way, the way here. here. Okay, we don't have it here physically, but it but is on the way on the here. here. It might be here tomorrow. It might be here Friday. As soon as it comes in, we will break that. Just know that the mixer is live. But it's, but on, it's the on the way because you guys, you guys loved it so much. So much. Mm -hmm. we're, we're in sure. sure. We just like, just like I don't know. We should get like a case. So just make a couple boxes. We played it safe. We got a couple got boxes, boxes, and you guys and you just guys killed it. it. So now, now we're, forced we're forced to get more. So and we're happy about that because it's about you guys, not about us. It's about you. Help me help you. That's how it works. Sam, you were about to interrupt me, but you didn't, and I appreciate you. Look at, that. Look, at that. Look at that. Look at that. If it was like this, it all, like the this time, all the time, Sam, Sam. <sighs> it'll be wonderful. There is an echo. There is an echo. 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 Okay. Because you didn't mute yourself. On. Do you have a oh, I have the mic. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Echo, echo. Yeah. I think it's better now, right? I'm pretty sure I got rid of the echo. Apparently all the comments, you didn't see them, they're just echo, 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 so. Echo, echo, echo all about it. There you go. All right, Stephen Garrett says better. All right, my bad, guys. I don't know why there would be an echo. Uh. <laughs> all right, guys, we have our first promo of the show. Many, many, mota, mota. Yeah. A hundred, uh, what is this? A hundred entries at $35. A hundred entries at $35. Uh, they're giving away 20 prizes. 20. That's right. 20. Charles, PSA Reveal. What are you talking about, Charles? I don't know what you get those, uh, those receptions from. I have no idea. You know what? I didn't even read that. I don't know what PSA Reveal you're talking about. Uh, we only have 20 prizes. First place is going to get this Eno Slaughter Red Manta Wacker card with the with the uh, tab at the bottom, fifty two Red Man. Second place L Rosen, fifty four Red Man with the tab. Uh, John, did you get my message? Which message, John? I'm not sure, John. Which one? Uh, next, I got Walt Jopo, fifty three Red Man with the tab. By the way, these all have tabs. These all have tabs. Uh, Jackie Jensen, 53 Red Man. George Kale, 54 Red Man. Uh, Lou Burdett, 54 Red Man. 54 Red Man of Billy Cox. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Don? So, Jim. Uh, 55 Red Man, Johnny Logan. 
Kurt Simmons, 54 red man. Granny Hamner, 53 red man. I got exhibits as well, guys. Exhibits, Sal Magley. I got also, uh, not exhibits, salutations, I believe. Uh, Rudy York, cordially, Rudy York. Vic Wirtz. Hey, what's up, Derek? Earl Turgeson. And Toby Atwell. 20 cards, 20 prizes, 100 entries at $35. That is your first big promo of the night. I am here till 8 o'clock Eastern Time. After 8, we are out. We're ghosts. And of course, we have our. Da -da 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 -da. Where is Teddy? Where did Teddy go? Jim, did you take my Teddy? Jim Chu, I know you took my Teddy. Oh, there it is. All right, we have 125 at $50, but this must close out tonight by 8 p.m. Somebody's going to get this 54 tops Ted Williams card number 250 in the set, the last card in the set. PSA 4, to me it looks like a 5. Must be something I don't see there, but that is the grand prize today. It's a closeout Wednesday. Closeout Wednesday. I need 125 entries at $50. Sam's going to keep track. Uh, it has to close out by 8 p.m. tonight. If it's not, it'll just go back to Layton's pool of awesome cards. Um, so I will leave that on here. I will make sure it's shown off the whole time. So anybody who's late can at least see it. Put it right there. No, let's put it right there. There we go. Uh, James, did they break 72 football? Yeah, we, uh, we broke 72 football rack pack last night. James, uh, 72 football rag pack last night. We pulled another Roger Staubach rookie. Um, I don't know who got it, but some somebody nailed it. <clears throat> Jay, what time did the 125 at Hershey start? Uh, which one? The 125 yeah. uh, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Sorry, 4 o'clock. Uh, so let me uh, let me set up the, the dippage meter, shall we? So first one is the big one. It's the 125 at 50. Um, uh, close out. It wouldn't be a close out. It's a must sell special. Must sell out special. Nineteen fifty-four tops. Teddy Williams PSA four. All right, that's one of the specials. Other one I just announced. It's uh, uh, 100 at 35. What time did that start? That started at 5.30. 5.30, guys. That started at 5.30. Bonus. And red man. And exhibits. Ex exhibits. And there's 20. Okay. There's the second one. And the dippage meter is th uh, two. Three. Sorry, three, because we have the all week special. Uh, that that's what the other one is. It's the uh, fifty dollar all week special. First place. Uh, let's just put here luminary. Lu oh boy, luminary immaculate rack pack. And it's immaculate baseball. All right, so triple. Uh, th it's triple dipping right now, guys. You're able to triple dip. At the moment, ah, uh, what's up, guys? I didn't see it on YouTube. The seventy-two football. Uh, yeah. So we uh, we're still catching up on videos. Doug, did you were you able to finish? Yeah, finish all the videos. All the videos, even yesterday. Yep. It's all up on the break calendar now, Jim. So check it out. I think it was like the last break last night. So around ten, ten forty-five is when he started, Jim. 
Hey, what's up, Logan? I'm on some triple dippage. Yep, Steven Gary, thank you. Uh, yeah, I still have to do the uh, wash party giveaway. Uh, I, I want to go over the prizes again. By the way, guys, the 89 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, share, post share giveaway was done by Chris. The winner is Nicholas Gable. Nicholas Gable. Congratulations, you won the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie uh, PSA 9 that Chris was hosting for sharing his posts. So thank you to uh, for to you guys for participating. Nicholas Gable. <coughs> okay, so you guys are talking about different things. So, oh, okay, the 72 football first series pack. Okay, no, yeah, we didn't do that yet. Uh, I, th I thought you meant the Rat Pack, which we did last night. Pulled on a Roger Staubach rookie. It's great. Wayne Packer, what's going on? John Packer. Sam, you can answer that for him. I'll put that over there. All right. So, with that said, Chris Holland. I will go ahead and email Sam. Facebook winners. Chris Holland, fifty dollar break credit. Tim Gorman, sixty nine tops, baseball separate spot. George Jackson, nineteen seventy three tops, baseball separate spot. Heather Wise, what's up, Heather? Nineteen seventy five tops, baseball mini. Uh, Billy Hansen. Okay, so here. J5, you guys had a great setup right in front of the building and seemed pretty busy. Did you get out to explore the area? Did you get to take breaks or anything? <laughs> so Rick, Rick Lucian uh, visited us during the show. It was nice to meet you, Rick. Uh, we did not have time to explore uh, just because we were exhausted after the after going live. We were just we ate dinner. We got the itis. We were already tired as it was. We just chilled the hotel room. There was there was like really no time to explore. Um, you know, it's just part of the show and it's part of the thing. It's, you know, um, we did, we did get, uh, you know, a bite to eat during lunch, but the dinner was the best part. Uh, we had Mexican food on Friday. We had a uh, Willard's barbecue on Thursday night. Um, and, uh, we had, uh, chasing tails on Saturday night and then Sunday we, we had to leave. So we just stopped by eat at Arby's on <laughs> Sunday. So it was fun though. It was all fun. Good stuff. All right. So ninety-one Desert Shield. So one, two, three, four. This is five. This is for Billy Hansen. Billy Hansen. That's your Gary Sheffield. What's up? I don't know. There's some rumblings about Sam making the show. Uh uh uh. I'll tell you, replay half. All right, Steven. Thanks, man. I heard Sam never left his post and you realized a whizinator. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have anything as high tech as a whizinator. I just use a Gatorade bottle. <laughs> <laughs> he used a Gatorade bottle. It was cherry or fruit punch flavor. I don't know what it was. If it was lemon, that's a little more concerning. Dallas Massey. Dallas, you won a 91 Leaf Gold Rookies. Jeff Bagwell, PSA 9. But Dallas... And then Joseph Bornstein. Joseph Bornstein got the Frank Robinson PSA 3. There you go, guys. Congratulations. These are all going to go out sometime early next week. Okay. So I'll email that to Sam. Let's clear this up. Now, to do the PSA watch party. PSA watch party. Hey, what's up, Angus? <clears throat> oh yeah, Rick was delicious. Uh, that barbecue was, oof, was good. 
the beef was really good. The pork was pretty good. The chicken was alright. I had the three sliders. So I had to taste a little bit of everything. Alright, big five. Mm -hmm. I have a bounty. We have 57 spots left in our 80s mixer. Okay. But in that mixer, we have a $125 PSA SGC graded rookie hit random spot. Right. And we're getting really low on that graded rookie hit random. Right. So we needed to sell out. Okay. So uh, I have a nice Roger Maris. And this card will be randomed to everyone who buys a spot in it today, but only if it sells out today. And how many spots you said there's left? Right now there's 57. So 57 will have people or entries will have a chance. Well, if anyone bought before, they'll be included. Purchase today. Oh, all today. All today. Okay, so if anybody who already bought into the 80s mixer today, you're part of this. Yep. But we have 57 spots left. If we sell it out today, everybody will be uh, eligible to win this 1963 Roger Maris card. But and it needs to sell out. So this is sort of a bounty. Uh, we sell out the 80s mixer. We're going to random this off to everybody who purchased a spot today. So that is my bounty. I will put it here. And James Goshaw got three spots. Nice. Thanks, James. Uh, what are, here's a, okay, so uh, I do have the 72 football first series here. 72 first series. It's on cue. Uh, this is for Stephen Garrett. This is a personal. And okay, so we got triple dippage. Triple digits. Uh, 53 left in the mixer, guys. 53. All right, so I'm doing I'm the uh, PSA watch party here. What's that? Uh, all the promos on the screen. Were you shaking your leg right now? No. Did you feel that? Tapping on the keyboard before. No. That's like a rumble on the desk. Are you okay? It was like. <laughs> felt like a little tiny earthquake. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about all that. I literally like like my my table was shaking like like this. That was crazy. That's heavy tables, too. That's like a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. All right. So if things get popping in here and, like, things start to move and shake, <laughs> just letting you guys know, I gave these guys fair warning. Um, the 25... Oh, there you go, James. Thank you. All right. So you're bored. Your, your screen is empty. What's that? Your screen is empty. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting the, I'm getting the list for the watch party. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Don, you're good. All right, so I got Ben De Silva, Brian Dallas, Dan O, Dave Mulcher, Derek Peaster, Donald Hagison, Heather Wise, Jim Wise, John Wayan, Nick Matiachi, Rick Lucian, Scott Denny, Scott Dinius, Timothy Hatley or Tim Hatley, Timothy. Nah, I like Tim. Let's just put Tim Halley. Uh And William, well, that's Ian, so I'm going to put Ian Wallace. All right, Ian Wallace. I don't like William. Sorry, Ian. All right, let's see. Yeah, that, I never felt that before, but it was nice, steady rumbling. It was. It felt like a little after, like an after, uh, what do you call those, um, uh, after earthquake, what do you call this? Uh, aftershocks. aftershocks. All right, that's, that's that's my entire list. Did I miss anybody? Anybody in the chat? If you feel like if you did a watch party, if I didn't call your name, here's your chance, guys. I'm giving you a minute, a minute to tell me that you know, because again, Sam is not perfect. In my eyes, you're perfect, Sam. But <laughs> you know, in the real world, he's not perfect. And if he misses you, 
he's not doing it on purpose. It's just that you guys comment a lot. And the watch party sometimes gets just scrambled in there. So I just mentioned everybody in the watch party list. If you feel like you did a watch party but you didn't hear your name, you have a minute to tell me and I will add you. Go. Meanwhile, uh, on cue, it's a 72 football first series pack five. Lucas, thank you, sir. I did see yours. Uh, Todd, no, man. It has to be a watch party. It has to be a watch party. Lucas, you're in. James Gosho, did I call your name? James, I remember. I got you. I was looking at the at the, at the menu, so. Uh, Clark. Clark Standish, yeah, because you won. So Clark Standish. But Clark, didn't you go by a different name? What was, uh... Oh, no, yeah, it's Clark Standish. Yep, Clark Standish. Yeah, James, I got you. So James Gosho, Clark Standish. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, if you stick around in five minutes, maybe I will surprise you. Don't lie to him. <laughs> Charles uh, wasn't there for your announcement. Oh, he wasn't? No. Oh. He came in the middle of the PSA show. Oh, so my announcement of Charles is that I gave a sneak peek today. I gave a sneak peek into a PSA reveal. Didn't have time to... I didn't have time to get everybody's name. I got Mark Meisner, Kevin W., Leroy Kushnerick, Michael McKinney, Robert Jordan, Mike Lepak, Mike Lepak, Mark Aram, and Kevin W. Kind of like little sneak peeks for today. Um, and there's a lot more cards. I just didn't have a chance to finish it. But, uh, alright, so a minute it's up. Let's randomize the list. It's for a hundred dollar break credit. Good luck, everyone. 10. 1. First person on top, folks. 2. Derek Peaser on top. <laughs> Dallas, you're in here, Dallas. You're in here. Don't worry. It's one extra entry for watch party, guys. One extra entry. Not for every watch party you start, you get an entry. It's not like that. It's just one extra entry. Charles, stay for another three minutes. Uh, what is that? Two, three, Tim Halley on top. Four, Scott Daniels. Five, Lucas Lukasinski. Six, Scott Danny. Uh, seven, David Melcher. Eight, Rick Lucian. Nine, Jim Weiss. And the winner of a hundred dollar break credit for reaching. I'm not even recording this. I forgot. Uh, the winner is Tim Hatley. I'm going to redo that. I don't like Tim winning this one. Can I redo it? Sam, can I redo it? Go for it. Nah, he's all right. Tim Hadley, you are the winner of a $100 break credit. I will email Sam right now. Watch party winner, Tim Hadley, $100 break credit. Alright. Alright, we're caught up. That was the uh, PSA watch party giveaway. Thank you guys. There is your triple dippage meter. Ta -da -ta, da -da -da. I was able to finish the PSA reveal while waiting was on. Uh, I, I worked my butt off to get this done quickly and quietly as possible. Um, so, PSA reveal time, folks. PSA reveal. Alright, meanwhile, let's try to get the 80s mixer sold out. Uh, as I mentioned before, the, uh, the Luminary Mixer is also live on our website. And, what else do we have that was a big one? Uh, ch -ch 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 was it National Treasures? Yes, there's four spots left in the uh, Immaculate Baseball 2019. Four spots left in that, and there are seven spots left in the 18 National Treasures, which is right there in front of me on my left. 
try. <laughs> so, you know, I'm I'm gonna do my best to uh, to not tease you too much, but uh, I don't think you're in this one. <laughs> you're you're not. In this one. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna leave the specials there so you guys can see. I feel like that's showing way too much. Hold on. There we go. All right, let's record. This is for our PSA reveal on October 16, 2019. Um, we're gonna go one by one here. I got stacks, I got singles. I already showed a few before. Let's just start off with that. Mark Meisner, 1970 tops. Mike Ryan came back PSA 10. PSA 10, congrats buddy. That's for Mark Meisner. Kevin W, 881 Opeachy, Wayne Gresky, Oilers Leaders, PSA 10. Congratulations. All right, Don. Next up, Leroy Kushnerick. Leroy, 75 tops, Bobby Orr, PSA 10. There's only 10 of these in, in PSA 10. So nice hit there, Leroy. Michael McKenney, Pulley 98 Bowman, rookie, uh, PSA 10. Card number one in the set. Robert Jordan, 70, 97 Tops Chrome, Tim Duncan rookie, PSA 10. This is for Robert Jordan. Mike Lapak, 1992 Stadium Club, Brett Favre, PSA 10. It's a nice rookie card, but it's his first card with the Green Bay Packer there. Mark Arum, 70 Tops Howie Reed, PSA 9. There are no 10s of this card. So it's a nice hit there for you, Mark. Then we got Kevin W, 85 Tops, Mario Lemieux, rookie, came back PSA 8. PSA 8. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Chris Lechner, Lechner, you want your Brad Davis uh, graded, came back PSA 6 for Chris Lechner. Lechner. What else we got? Steven Garrett. Steven Garrett. Hey, hey, what's up, Mark? Did you see your PSA 10? Mark, that's crazy. Steven Garrett. Roger Clemens, rookie, came back. PSA 7. Norn Miller, 70 tops. PSA 8. 72 tops. Steve Carlton traded. PSA 7, miscuts. Oh, that was your, your card, Steven Garrett. Next, Sean Miller. Sean, 85 Opeachy L. McInnes came back. PSA 9. Oh, hold on, Mark. It's right here. It's the first one, my friend. Sally Tops, Mike Ryan. PSA 10. There are only 11 10s in the pop report. Mark, there you go, buddy. <coughs> So Sean Miller, your Al McInnes, very nice. Next, Rick Everhart. Rick, your 62 Civil War news came back. Number 82, PSA 8. Restoring the rails, PSA 8. We're actually about to do another one today. So I'm gonna break another pack, sell a pack, 62 Civil War news. Right, Mark? Uh, car 54, PSA 6. 26. PSA 6. Card number 1. PSA 8. Miscut. Card 52. PSA 9. Off centered. Friendly enemies. It's a great art right there. Card 17. PSA 6. Horseman Falls. Card number 54. PSA 6. <clears throat> Flaming Death, PSA 8. Crush But the Wheels, PSA 7. Love this action shot. That's for Rick Everhart. Next, Patrick Finley. Patrick, 57 tops. Football, Earl Morrell. Or Morrell, Morrell. 
PSA 5. And a 63 tops LK line you want to create it. PSA 4. That's for Patrick Finley. Next, Michael Russo. Michael, one of your other stallbacks came back. PSA 8 OC. 72 tops football. Leroy Keys. PSA 9. PSA 9. Nice hit. Les Josephson. PSA 7. I don't know how is that a seven. That's ridiculous, but okay. Emmett Thomas, PSA eight. That's for Michael Russo, who is building this set. Fresh cards from Fresh Packs from us. Mark Meisner. Mark, you have more cards, my friend. Um, really upset about this one. Uh, this is a Thurman Munson for 73 tops. They did not grade it. It's a uh, minimum size required. I guess it was cut too short. And they wouldn't grade that Munson. Very upset about that. 76 tops of athletics team. PSA 9. 70 tops checklist. 634 through 720. 666 is Adolfo Phillips. PSA 7. Yeah, Mark. Uh, Norm Cash, PSA 6. Diego Segui, PSA 8. 72 tops. 71 tops, Cleet Boyer, PSA 7. 71 tops, Tom Matchick, PSA 8. 71 tops, Tony Oliva, PSA 7. Roberto Pena, PSA 8 OC. And 73 tops, Del Unser, PSA 7. There you go, Mark. That is the rest of your cards. Add that to the other one. Oh, that's Mark Arum. There's my question. Okay. Last. Mark Arum. Sparky Anderson. 1970 tops. PSA 8. Pete Rose. PSA 8 off center. Mark Arum. Manuel Ortega, Manuel, 78 tops, Dennis Eckersley, came back, PSA 8. Uh, 70 OPG strikeout leaders with Phil Negro and Nona Ryan, PSA 8. It's a nice card. It's for Manuel Ortega. 79 OPG, George Brett, PSA 8. Manuel, those are your cards. Eights all across. Dallas, why did I guess something? I, uh, I don't know what you're referring to. Is it the card from Facebook? Because you were you landed in the top seven, Dallas. It's Fifty-seven tops. Church Altrich, PSA six for Kyle Crofts. PSA six. Kurt Malinsky, Kurt Malinsky, 58 tops, Jim Mutscheller, Mutscheller, PSA 8, it's a nice card, and 67 tops, card number 412, it's the Astros rookie, PSA 8, that is for Kurt Malinsky, and the last stack is the remainder for Kevin W. Kevin, 88 tops, Joe Nuendik, PSA 9 ST. <laughs> 
72 tops, Rock Carew in action, PSA 8 OC. And 72 tops, card number one, Wilt Chamberlain, PSA 7. There you go, Kevin W. All right, that is our PSA reveal. Thank you so much, everyone. Glad something came back from you guys. All right. All right, guys. This is what we have right now. It's our triple dippage. Uh, we have 100 at $35 as a bonus. 20 prizes. We have the 50s Red Mans with tabs, as well as some exhibit cards in the back. Um, and salutations, probably. There's a 20 total. Uh, sorry, there's 10 Red Mans, 5 exhibit cards. Two 73 separate spots and three 75 tops mini separate spots. So there's 20 prizes in total. Uh, $35 per checkout. So you spend $35 during checkout, you get one entry into that. Of course, we have our close, uh, we must close this out today by 8 p.m. I need 125 entries at $50. You also will double dip, you spend 50 with the Luminary Immaculate Baseball and Rat Pack Special that ends on Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you spend $50, those are your price points for that giveaway. Uh, but if we close this out at 125 spots, I will rent them off. One person is going to get this. This is card number 250, the last card in the set for 54 tops. It is Teddy Ballgame, PSA 4. I'm going to leave that right there. Actually, I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna switch it right there. This right here. Thanks, Tom. All right, refresh numbers. Sam, they want to refresh. Oh, the spots are left. Let's do 135. 82 spots left. 82 spots left. And the fifth it one twenty five and fifty. A hundred and seven spots left. All right, guys, that is your update. I need eighty two more spots filled for the thirty five dollar bonus and one hundred seven for the fifty dollar bonus. <clears throat> Next up, 72 Tots Football First Series Pack 5. Nineteen seventy two Football Series Pack 5. Sam, mm -hmm. I don't think a dippage is... I don't like the number three. Mm -hmm. I really don't like it. So let's do this. First, let's update this. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's do Let's do a little participation promo for all the new guys and ladies who are watching. Hey, how a participation promo works is we need nine unique names. So there's no duplications in this list. One entry but I need you to buy three spots into anything. I don't care the price point, it could just be three spots into anything. I need nine total names, and once I get those nine total names, I will randomize the list, and I'm going to give away to some lucky individual a, let's do, Code number six, two nineteen. All right. Let's do a. Where 
what I got here. Something that screams out my name. All right, participation promo. Prize gets first place. There's only one prize. It's a 66 tops RBI leaders with Darren Johnson, Frank Robinson, and Willie Mays. It's a participation promo. I need nine unique names. Buy three spots into anything. Their spots are as low as $3. So you spend $9, you get an entry. I will put you down on the list. As soon as I get nine names, I'll randomize it. And first person on top will get that card. It's a 66 tops RBI leaders with Frank Robinson and Willie Mays. So what I'm going to do is add this to the list. Participation. Participation promo bonus. Nine unique names. Buy three spots into anything. All right, dipish meter four. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Thank you, James. I like four. I don't like odd numbers. Uh, I like even numbers. So you don't like odd numbers? I don't like odd numbers. I don't like odd. So let's, let's keep it even numbers today. If it's not four, it will be two. If it's not two, it's six. If it's not six, it's eight. I don't care. As long as I don't hit any odd numbers. I know my, my thing is J5. It's five is the odd number. But it just, you know. And you roll seven. And I roll seven. So. So I no, no, no. Mean. I roll a lot of sixes recently. Oh. Don't, don't, don't come I at me with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I sixes all day. All right, let's do our pack. All right, and I started this at 612. So I have So Dana, Dana. You're in Dana. You're the first one on the list. Dana, you're getting better at this. <laughs> yeah, the key is to do it while we're talking. Yeah. James Gushaw. James, you're in. You're my second person. Uh, Joe Blanchard. Ch Joe, come on, Joe. Stop this. Joe, I need to buy one spot into anything else. You bought two spots. I, I need you to buy one spot into something. Give me like a three dollar purchase, Joe, and I'll add you. And I'll add you to it. I don't accumulate, but for you, I will add it. So, Joe, buy one spot into anything. <laughs> Dana, I, it's not illegal. You could definitely do it. As long as I'm announcing it, it does count. Dana, you're getting much better at this. I like it. You went from rookie to novice to intermediate. What is it? Intermediate? And now you're at the pro level. You are now considered a pro level breaking maniac. Yes, I said it. Thank you, Dana. Um, all right, so... Joe Blanchard, please buy a spot into something else when you get a chance. Only six spots left and what? Oh, and the grid of hit random. Nice, very nice. All right, guys, this is for our 1972 Tops Football First Series, pack number five. Good luck to James Gutshaw, Brian Billingsley, and James Phillips. Let's pull some magic here. Match is yes, Sam. In the interest of making it an odd number, I have a problem. I gave you a goal. Is that what I just did? I gave yes. you a goal. I hate you. <laughs> I have a hundred and ten winner take all. There you go. <sighs> Why do you do this to me? Because you said you don't even know. Oh my god! All right, I don't know. You had this ready. Yeah. Um, guys, it's a winner take all. It's a hundred at ten dollars. A hundred at ten dollars starts at six sixteen. Six sixteen. Let's see where we at. Yeah. PM. Uh, blah blah blah. Five prizes. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. First place is going to get. This 2018 Tops Archives Ronald Acuna Jr. Rookie Card Credit PSA 9. P 
PSA 9 for first place. Second place and third place will get a 69 baseball separate spot. Fourth and fifth will get a 73 baseball separate spot. There's a... No, I'm sorry. There's a winner take all. There is no second, third, fourth, fifth That's place. Right. It's everything. One person's going to get all of this. The Acuna Junior rookie, two spots in the 69 and two spots in the 73. It's a winner take all. One person... I need a hundred entries at ten dollars. So now Sam is forcing me to write this on the board to have five on the dippage meter. One hundred at ten dollars bonus, and yeah, that's going to be Acuna Junior rookie PSA nine. All right, there it is. Dippish meter now at five. I hate you, Sam. Let's uh, let's close out the participation promo so we get it back down to a nice even number, shall we? You uh, that just made my day. Joe Blanchard. Oh, Joe, come on, Joe. Arnie Chura. Hey, what's up, Arnie? You're in my participation promo. All right. Don't forget about the bounty. The yeah, 80 mixer, guys. If we sell the 80 mixer, I will give away. What am I giving away? I gave it to you, bro. It was a nice. Maris. Maris. 63 tops. Had a sticky on it. Yeah, there it is. Right there. There's the bounty. 80 mixer, guys. We sell that out. Uh, everybody who purchased a spot today and closes it out will um, get this Roger Maris 63 tops. It's a one spot winner. Only one winner. It's a winner take all. Arnie, yeah, that, that's a five dipper. Five time dipper. Let's roll. Let's run the master list. Ten the hard way. Ten the hard way. Uh, try the yellow font. Yeah, okay, let me try. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's my list. <clears throat> Later. Thank you for stopping by. All right, 40 spots left in the mixture, guys. 40, that's doable. I'm here till 8 o'clock. It's definitely doable. All right, Brian, first card for you, my friend, right here, under the gum. I'm gonna try not to uh, damage the wrapper so we can put it in a charity auction. Oh no. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Do you have which one you for it? Which one? hundred app. Six sixteen. Okay. Uh, give me a good side. Come on. Yo. Okay. All right. Very nice. Brian, let's get this gum off. Hopefully. Oh. All right, Brian, you can take that off yourself, my friend. <laughs> you can definitely get that off using the, you know what, uh, Ted Hendricks. What? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> uh, you, you, you gotta use it. You know what? <laughs> Ted <laughs> Hendricks. It's already cracked. The gum is cracked. It just, it just needs a little uh, cold action, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Spot two, Brian. Ooh, Bubba Smith, pro action. Very nice. Bubba Smith. It's a, a little off center. Just a little off center for Brian. Where are you going, bro? Is that a 10 Hedricks rookie? It's a little off center. Uh, I think the gum's going to leave a little, little stain on it. I have a feeling it will. Spot three, James. 
Vic Washington. Vic Washington. 49ers. For James Phillips. Spot four. Mike Phipps for the Browns. I met the girl. <laughs> My bad. Spot five. Ugh, the kicker. Matt Percival. Ugh, Doug. Ugh. It's the Bears kicker, Mac Percival. It's not bad at centering. It's a little off, but not too bad. That's for James Phillips. Spot six, James Gutshaw. Got a flip. Got a flip. Receiving leaders with Fred Belenikoff, Otis Taylor, and Randy Vataha. All right, got a little Belenikoff action. Just a little off center. You remember Percival, huh? Did he miss some kicks? Spot seven. Willie Lanier. Willie Lanier. That's for James Phillips. Off center, unfortunately. Spot eight. Joe Jones. Joe Jones. For the Browns. Hit random is close, guys. All right. Let's get that going. Thanks, James. Spot nine, Ron Ayari for the Vikings. 25 card, great hit around the way with Mickey Mantle, 57 tops, SGC3. It's right, I think I put the highlights right there on the top shelf. Ron Ayari. Right there. Is that SGC3? 57 Tops Mantle? Yeah. That's it. Spot 10. Last card, Brian. Russian leaders with Floyd Little, Larry Sanka, and Marv Hubbard. What time? 7 o'clock. All right, guys. We'll do it at 7 o'clock. The grid to hit random. Thanks, Rob. All right, so is that a Ron Yari rookie? That's all centered. It's a cool though. Let me uh, let me check this out real quick. Seventy-one tops. First series football. Johnny Unitas, Dick Buckus. What else we got in there? Oh come on. Basura. This computer is basura. You know what I'm saying, Sam? Yeah. You said the computer is trash. <laughs> All right. So looking for Willie Lanier rookie, which we pulled. Ken Houston rookie. Uh, Mercury Morris rookie. Frank Targeton, George Blanda, Lance Allworth, Mary Schottenheimer. I think he meant Marty Schottenheimer. Uh, Don Maynard, Maynard, Merlin Olsen, Sonny Jurgensen, Mel Renfro. All right, so out of the list, we pulled a Willie Lanier. For a fact, I know we pulled it. There, yeah, there it is. That's the big hit in the pack. Also, one of the hits that we're looking for. Willie Lanier. Thank you, guys. I'm going to take a quick picture of this. Doug, can you do me a favor? Actually, never mind. I got it. I've got it. I've got it. Go 
Cool. I'm a who's seven. James Phillips. I'm a Sinatra PSA. I know it's all centered, but it's one of the uh, one of the hits we were looking for. PSA. James, I know you don't want a PSA. If you don't want to send out PSA, just let me know now. Wrong year. What am I looking for? Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm glad you guys told me. Hold on. 72. First series, first series. 72 football, first series. That's a cello pack. 72. What is this? 32 football first series. How come all have is a solo? Where's the. Hmm. Where is the first series wax pack? Uh, there it is. I got, I got I found it. I found it. Okay, so we got John Riggins. Which we pulled, unfortunately, with the gum. Ted Hendricks, rookie. Joe Namath, Ron Yari. Ron Yari. Uh, we pulled that one. We pulled that one. We pulled that one. There it is. Uh, also look for Jim Plunkett, Archie Manning. Okay. Oh, sorry, James. Your card is not one of them. The second year. That's the second year linear. All right, so... Car nine. <laughs> All right, so spot nine is Brian. Brian, sorry, James. I, I can't take. I can't send a PSA. I, just, I mean, I just. Why not? Worth being here. I already said it. Might as well give it to. So PSA for Brian. I asked Brian, you don't want me to? Brian, I can't send that one to you. Uh, there's no way. They're going to just like reject it. Can't grade the gun. <laughs> All right, you got it, James. This is, I messed up anyway. It's on the house. All right. Spot seven and spot nine. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I don't know why it says 71. <laughs> Jonathan Martin, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, let me check out. Let me check out what I did. Uh, last person was Arnie Chura at 616. Seven point five OC under. <laughs> If they start doing that, that would be amazing. All that gum that people throw away from the vintage packs. Not us. All right, so Arnie Churro, you're the last person I got. Dennis McAllister. Dennis McAllister, you're in. All right, so Dennis McAllister, you're my fourth entry Matthew Heschinger you're my fifth entry for the promotion of uh, participation promo and Scott Kaiser you're in my friend that's six I need three more guys I need three more for the participation promo uh, John Martin you're in John two more I need two more and who was asking was asking Jonathan Martin yeah Jonathan you got three spots that's ten dollars so you got into participation promo and you got into the winner take all that's ten bucks so yeah you double dipped Jonathan John Martin you double dipped, which means I get to play this you dipped the chip you took a bite and you dipped again So <laughs> he dipped the chip. He took a bite. He double dipped the chip. We'll all be in trouble if Sam was in there. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Mark? 
Mark Ferreira. Mark Ferreira. Yeah. Buddy, you're up. I got you. You're eight. You're, I need one more, guys. I need one more, and I'll give away this uh, 66 Tops RBI Leaders with Willie Mays and Frank Robinson. It's a participation promo, so it has to be unique names. For $10, you guys will be double dipping. You spend... Actually, you know what? Let me pull that up right there. If you spend uh, 50 you will penta dip. If you spend 50 you will penta dip. Because you get into the all-week $50 special. You get into $125 at $50. You'll get into the $100 at $35. You'll get to the $100 at $10. And I need one more for the participation promo. I need to sell that out so I can bring it down to 4 Because I like even numbers. I don't like odd. And Sam just had to come in here and ruin my day with a fifth promo. Alright, T guy, nineteen. What's up, man? Or take you take Tago? Tigo? Nah man, I ain't a bodybuilder. Matthew Heschinger, let's see. Uh you're the participation promo and yeah, you you pentadipped. You pentadipped. Definitely, Matthew. How many more names do you need for that part? One more. Let me uh -huh. refresh. After Mark comes. Manuel Ortega, the silent killer. That's why I call him. Manuel. Uh that's it. You closed it. That was my tenth spot. Thanks, Manuel. All right, so let's do that participation formula real fast. So I can get that zip which meter back to four. <laughs> Let me erase participation promo, dip each meter, four. Yeah, that's what I want, baby. Now, Sam, you just sit there like a good boy. You don't move. Thanks, Sam. Hate to break music, No, no, no. You can't do anything. Okay. Nah, bro. Participation no, promo. Uh, number one, number one of the night. Oh, the the Dana Dame I play see I think I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> There's no Dana, only Zoom. Arnie, stop it! Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> oh, see, Arnie knows where I'm at. Don't entice him. Uh, all right. This is for our participation promo number one. Good luck to Dana Peltier. Yeah, he likes my arm muscles. So he's asking if I'm a bodybuilder. Oh my God. I'm not, fortunately. Uh, Dana Peltier, James Gutshaw, Arnie Chura, Dennis McAllister, Joe Blanchard, Matthew Heschinger, Scott Kaiser, John Martin, Mark Ferreira, and Manuel Ortega. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Let's get that six. Oh, four. Four. Here we go. First person on top. Don't look at me like that. One. Matthew Heschinger on top. Two. Scott Kaiser. Three. Mark Ferreira. And the winner of the 66 Tops RBI leaders is at four. The silent killer. Manuel Ortega. Manuel Ortega. Oh, Dina just missed it. Manuel. There you go, buddy. You want the prize. Participation promo number one in the books. Uh, put this away. Mark me. <laughs> J5, what's the dip count at? Four, and it will stay there. That's odd, J5, because it, it should there. say five. It From should. From 6.30 to 8, I have a $5 bonus, J5. Dude, you're crazy. There you go. All right, guys. 6.30. 
Let me just make sure I got everybody here because I know uh, Mano Ortega was the last person and he purchased that. So is it 6.30 or is it yeah, I'll, now? Yeah, I'll start it at 6.30. 6.30, okay, so 6.30 I have Mark Ferreira. We started with you, Mark. Mark and Manuel, you guys are in. 6.30 to 8 p.m., correct? Yep. Guys, so this is good until I get out of here. So at 8 p.m., we'll cut you off. It's a $5 bonus. For every $5 you spent, you'll get one entry into this. I'm gonna have three prizes. First place. This is our post, uh, post, Doug, what you call it? Post, postponement, post, postponement special. Postponement special for the Yankees game being postponed to tomorrow. We're going to give away a Yankee card. It's a 53 tops Whitey Ford. First place would get that. Second place would get a 69 baseball separate spot. Third place at 84 Fleer update. Baseball surfing spot. Five dollars, six thirty to eight o'clock. I'm starting with Mark Ferreira at six thirty. After that is Manuel. After that is Jeff Lennon. After Jeff is Rob. Guys, as long as you guys spend five bucks or more, you guys are in. Yeah, you guys are in. You're good. Uh, Jeff, you are good, my friend. So that is your five dollar bonus. Now I have to put this on the uh, on the board. It's a uh, five dollar bonus, six thirty p.m. to eight p.m. Nineteen fifty three tops, Whitey Ford. Dippish meter is four, right, Sam? Five. Yeah, it's five. You guys can penta dip right now. Penta dip. All right. So I got all that. Eighties mixer, guys. Eighties mixer. If you close out, I'll give away a sixty three Roger Maris. Uh, card also a Yankee, um, so we have to go ahead and and let me know where we are on that. Harlan, what's up? Ha 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 ha! No, we're not doing a two for one special on that. <laughs> penta dip, guys! You get to penta dip five, five times, five times. Thanks to Sam and his ridiculous. Everything against J5 today. Uh, oh, yeah, 38. Oof, 38 spots left, guys. I think we could do it. It's an hour left. By the way, if we close this out today, we will get this way. We need 125 entries at $50. It's right here. Let's get a refresh on that, Sam. Let's get a nice little recap on that. How about we go one by one here? I'm a little uh, busy. I'll update you later. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See? When you want something, it's right away. Yep. When I want something, I have to wait. Yep. I have to get like a uh, a little ticket, like a little ticket. I have to pull <laughs> to you wait in line. You in line. Yeah, like it's crazy. Thanks, Rob. All right, I got an eighty-one tops cello pack, baseball cello, eighty-one tops. What's that? When you ask for something, we're going to hand you a little post-it with a number on it. <laughs> it's going to say 96 in this number. I have to wait, man. Sorry. Uh, Tom, yeah, yeah. Sam is updating numbers, so as soon as he gets a chance, he'll he'll, he'll tell me. Yeah. Let him finish, because you guys are buying left and right, so I, I'll let him be until he finishes. Um, 81 tops baseball. So I'll pack 128. All right, I got Jeff Lennon, Matthew Passaro, and Dino Bates. All right. This is for 81 Tops Baseball Cello Pack number 128. Go that to Jeff, Matthew, and Dino. Let's randomize the list. First person on top will get the Gary Carter. Wow. Just realized that's on top right there. Gary Carter right on top. First person on top of the list will get that. Let's roll. Find out who it is. Hey, Scott. Uh, can't do anything to break. Oh, Scott, I'm about to break a bunch of stuff right now. That's a five for Johnny Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And 
let's email this to the crew. All right, there's my, my update. Thanks, say 110. It's at 17 spots. 100 at 35 is at. Come on, Sam. Take it too long, buddy. Dino Bates, that is your Gary Carter right on top, my friend. Nice, 57 spots. I, uh, I don't know what that is. That's your ticket number. <laughs> is it? It's nine? Okay, it's a nine. I'm now, ser I'm now serving one. So I need eight more spots to go? Yeah. No. All right, let's make it quick, bro. Do you know, here is your Gary Carter. Nice card for you. A spot one. All right, 57 spots left at 100 at 35. So let's put that there. 35, okay, okay. Then I have 125 at 50. That's the next one I do. Right? Or did you put 125 for a reason? Oh, that's right. 90 spots left. 90 spots left on the 125 at 50. Remember, the 125 is not getting carried over. Right. Guys, the 125 at 50, which has to sell out by tonight by 8 p.m., is the only one that's not carrying over. Meanwhile, the 135 will, the 110 will, and the five-hour bonus will end at 8 p.m. as well. So, Ken Singleton, spot two for Dino. Spot three, Larry Boa. 38 spots left in the mixer, guys. Who wants that Roger Maris? You guys need to help him out. James needs help to close that out so I can give that away. Hal McRae, spot four for Dino. Matthew Passaro, you're up next, Matthew. I think you, this might be your first break. Well, sir, you got a Yankee player, so I'm happy about that. It's Rick Cerrone. Doug, Rick Cerrone. Decent. Right? Yeah. yeah. Decent career, a decent player, trying to be a decent broadcaster. Okay. Nice hit there, Matthew. Spot six, Tom Bertmeyer. Ooh, it's a gum card. All right, hopefully the card. Uh, you got a little residue, little residue. Tom Bertmeyer. For the Red Sox. This one's miscut. Let's see, get this gum out. Bump Wills. Bump Wills. At seven. This is for Dino Bates. Plus, in the mixture, it's plus we'll do a separate random to see who gets this. Yeah, there it is, James. James, I don't know if I'm paying you enough, but if I'm not, let me know. If there's a chance I could replace you for Sam, I will do it. <laughs> and feel the championships, Royal Sweep the Yankees. I don't want to see that card. Get out of here. Spot nine, Kevin Saucier. Oh, that's a great last name. Sam, I'm going to change my last name to that. Saucier. Kevin is saucier. J5 saucier. Or sauce. J5 sauce. I'm going to start making my own hot sauce. Rich Dotson. For the White Sox. Spy 11. Dick Tidro. Dick Tidro. For Dino. And the last card, Terry Whitfield for the Orioles. There you go, guys. 81 top space will sell a pack number 128 in the books. All right. Oh, 
up next, 62 top Civil War news. Now, where are thou goggles? Where are the goggles? I've seen it. Wow, the kid. I don't know where it went, man. I mean, I don't care too much because I have glasses on, but. I miss those goggles. Mark Farrell will work for a plane ticket and cars. <laughs> All right, Mark. Noted. You are now noted for that. All right. Let's see what we got. James Ector, the threat in the house. What's up, James? All right. So we have five on the dippage meter, guys. For fifty dollars, you will penta dip, penta dip into everything. Eighteen spots left in the mixer, guys. Eighteen spots left. Let's help out James close that out. We are wanting to give away this sixty-three Mickey Mantle. Mickey Man, uh, Mickey Man, <laughs> it's Roger Maris. Sorry, Roger Maris, 63 tops. Uh, anyone who buys a spot today uh, will be entered. We started with 57 spots. We're now down to uh, 18. 18. I heard Hector. I just got up and ran. <laughs> Arnie. I think that's what you gotta do. You gotta get up, run, come back, and find out you won a big card at the end. I think that's what works for you. I think it's what works. All right, so in 10 minutes, I will do the graded hit random. Let me just uh, do the 62 tops first, Civil War news. Pack 22. Okay. Um, Pack 22. Okay. There we go. Let's get the rest of the lists going. Alright, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me just pull up the... Uh, the mixer. Where's the 80s mixer? Four spots left, guys. Four <laughs> spots left in the 80s mixer. James, it's gonna happen, James. This is gonna happen. I already know. Four spots left in the mixer. And how many spots in the other? Okay, so we have 30. Okay, we just put up the new luminaries mixer, so that's good. Three spots left in the mixer. Three spots. Again, guys, we're going to have three bonus $125 credit rookie hit random spots. Possible PSA 10 caliber junior worth $500 plus in the 80s mixers, as well as, of course, your spots in the rookie hit random. The Tony Gwynn's of PSA 10. The Frank Robinson's of 57 tops. Uh, PSA 7. I want to say it's a 7. Sam, mm -hmm. heard the man, get it ready. Mm -hmm. 80s mixer, sold out. Doug, you might have to uh, get me 90 cards, one through 90. Car labeled, one, cards ever once. Okay. One through 90, my friend. If you need labels, ask Rob, who will get you. Well, yeah, I'm probably gonna need All right, so Sam, can we get those names? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let's go. Let's give away the 63 mano a little bit later on, right? There you go. I'll put that on the queue. James, remind me to do the 63 man, the 63 Maris. I keep saying mantle. Maris. 63 Maris. All right. Uh, okay, let's uh, get this out of the case first. Uh, you ready? We got... 82 tops, 83 Donruss, 
Oh, you gonna pull it? All right. A two tops. A uh, wax pack, yeah. A two tops wax pack. Eighty three Donruss baseball. Eighty three Donruss. Okay. Hey Rob, uh, before you get that, I need this the flat the the flat driver. It's not in here. Check the box. I think it's probably somewhere. Uh, James, yeah, just just remind me. That's all I'm saying. Just remind me. But did you see it? I think it might be still in that box. Okay. What number are you on, Sam? Hmm? What number are you on? When you say what number I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to sell out next? Uh, uh, let's take a quick look here. You can sell the luminary next year. Uh, uh, okay. Tell you what, I'll put this to the side. Bro. I'll put this one to the side. If, uh, we, we're missing a tool, guys, to break this case. Put it, we'll get another day. Okay, so um, I'll put this to the side. We'll get that tomorrow. Don't worry. Uh, by the way, if one of you guys can make a custom vintage breaks plier or what do you call this huh screwdriver no no well yeah screwdriver the uh, flat driver custom vintage brake tool and whatever this is i forgot the name of this uh vintage brakes we could put on the handle that'd be great that would be awesome uh all right so tell you what let's do the uh let's do the the roger masculine away once sam gets some emails me the names All right, 110 sold out, by the way, guys. 110 sold out. So let's remove that from the list. Yeah, back to four, baby. Give me a minute. No, no, no. You take your time. You take your time. Tin snips. Ah, oh, snips, snips. All right. Thank you. I would take my time, J5, but these guys deserve five <laughs> at all times. Michael, I know, man. You got to be quick, bro. I have a lot of pro-level people watching tonight a lot of pro level guys and ladies i don't want to omit the ladies there's ladies watching and buying uh all right so yes spot down in the luminaries mixer three three spots down all right all right all right sam you're getting the names for the 83 spots left in the 125 and 50. 83 spots left, guys, in the 125 at 50. 83 spots left in that. There's 47 spots left in the 100 at 35. 100 at 35. How many? 47. You said 35 before. There's no way. No? I guess I rolled down the wrong place. So how many spots? 47. 47. Yeah. I probably rolled down the wrong section. So 135, there's 47 spots left. Yeah. It was probably 35 for the 100 at 10 that closed. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. 83 spots left, and the 125 at 50. Mm -hmm. And then the 6.30 to 8, that ends obviously at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then the $50 all-week special is still alive until Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So could, the dippage is four, guys. Dippage is four. Guys, yes, please. If you like what you're watching, you like uh, everything we're doing here, we appreciate you giving a thumbs up on the video, which you'll see somewhere over here. Just hit thumbs up for me, please. We greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna give you the separate list first. Yes, the 80s mixer? Yeah. Great, so Sam's gonna give me the 80s mixer names, guys. Everyone who bought this So I'll put here 1963 Tops Maris giveaway. Okay. 
John, all right. Sam's a little busy, John, so if he doesn't get to the email tonight, we'll get to it tomorrow. Okay. Uh, 110. After the Maris, I'll do the Acuna Jr. giveaway. That's the 110 that sold out. And then guys, today I want to close this out so I can give it to you. <laughs> so I can give it away to you guys. Uh, it's a 54 tops Ted Williams, PSA 4. It's a uh, hundred, you, you see it right here. It's 125 at 50. There's 83 spots left. We get it down to zero. We will give this away. This is not carrying over. It's not carrying over. I will give this back to it and then we'll use it for something else. But I want to give you guys at least a chance. But just know that you are double dipping into the $50 all week special. And it's on Sunday during Vintage Break South Show. Show uh, First place gets a 2019 Luminary Box. Second place gets an Immaculate Baseball, which I misspelled. Uh, I just realized I forgot the L. Correct. Yeah, you said 190, right? Correct. Third place gets a Rat Pack, 79 Tops Rat Pack. Mark, he did. Uh, all right, so it's around here. It's around here. All right. So it's around here. We just gotta find it. That's all. It's just it was just misplaced. We'll find it. We'll do it tomorrow. It's okay. It's not going anywhere. The 62 62 silver war ain't going over. send you the last 58. Last 58. Nice. Thank you, Sam. I am. Finally, my name came up. My number came up. Love it. Okay. Here we go. 63 Tops Maris. It's not Mantle. It's Maris. All right. I know you guys are watching, so I don't need to record this. Uh, we sold out the 80s mixer, and because of that, we're going to give away this 63 Maris. First person on top. It's a winner take all type. So good luck. James, thank you for selling this out. I'm rooting for you, buddy. I'm rooting for you since you helped sell it out. So here we go. Nine. Nine on the random. One. Dana on top. Two. Tom O'Connor on top. Three. James Ector, four, Manuel Ortega, five, Manuel Ortega, six, Manuel Ortega, seven, James Ector, eight, James Gutshaw, oh, James, and an eight. <laughs> All right, the winner of the 63 in Maris at nine is... Oh, James Gushaw. Wow. James, you will not be defeated tonight. James Gushaw. My man. Getting paid. There you go, buddy. There's your 63 Roger Maris baseball card for James Gushaw. You beat out James Ector, James. <laughs> You beat out James Ector. That's saying something. There you go, buddy. Going out to you. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Because James, I don't know if you noticed, James. I don't know if you noticed, but right under you, it's all James Ector right there. It's all James Ector. He was right on you, man. He was right on you. And look at that. He's on the chat, too. James, or I'm going to call you Jim Ector. You're close, Jim. We're so close. Um, I feel you. All right. Next up, 100 at 10. Winner take all. Another winner take all. Love it. Winner take all. Okay. Oh, Russ D is in here. What's up, Russ? 
Lucas Lukasinski, Rob Geis, Jeff Lennon, Manuel Ortega, Mark Ferreira, John Martin, uh, Scott Kaiser, Matthew Hashinger, Dennis McAllister, Arnie Chura, James Ector. It's 110. That's right. Dina just missed out on this one. Uh, hey, what's up, Jeff? All right, Jeff. This is, that's your dippage meter right there, my friend. We got four. We got quadruple dippage right now for fifty dollars. Fifty gets you the all week special. Gets you a spot in the one hundred twenty five at fifty with a fifty four top set Williams PSA four for first place. Actually, no, there's only one price. It's a fifty four Williams. Uh, and then we have a thirty five, a hundred at thirty five. With uh, 20 prizes, includes red mans and exhibits. And we got a $5 bonus from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Giving away 53 Whitey Ford. So, quadruple dippage. And I like to leave it an even number. Sam will try to kill that for me. But I will try my best to sell something out. So I can get it back to four. Nikki V. What's up, man? Nikki V, I can't wait for December, bro. I can't wait for December. Play some craps. From the uh, freebie list. Nothing. PayPal it. It can't be. Come on. This mix is number three, right? <sighs> There's always something. It's it's fine. I need ninety. You'll see why if you go on Nintendo. You'll see why it can't be paid out for sure. I mean, I see eighty-eight. Exactly. We only sold eight weeks ago. You get what I'm pick picking up with Nintendo. Okay. Roulette. I like roulette. I bet everything on black. Alright, guys, let me uh, just look into something real quick. Right? That's that's the trick, right, Nick? Everything on black? Or is it red? I don't know. One of those. Okay, let me check something real quick. You have that list uh, closed? Okay. Send me the list. James Bond played 17. Huh? <laughs> Chris, yeah, yeah. I have it ready. I have it ready. I just want to get this away real quick. All right. Let's get this ready. I already mentioned who's in it. So let's roll the dice. James Bond played 17. Black. 17 black. This is for our hundred at ten dollar winner take all. One person's going to win this uh, 2018 Tops Archives Ronald Acuna Jr. graded PSA nine rookie card. Also, two spots in the 69 baseball set break and two spots in the 73 baseball set break. Let's roll the dice. 
Good luck. Nine, nine times, nine times. One, James Ector on top. Two, Scott Kaiser. Three, Dennis McAllister. Four, Scott Kaiser. Five. No, no five. There it is. James Ector. Six. Come on. Russ Dumontier, seven. Bradley, what's good, man? Rob Geis, eight. Man, my Randall Org is slow tonight. Why are you so slow? Is that Lucas? Lucas at eight. All right. My, the winner of the 100 at 10 for the Acuna Jr. rookie card at nine is... Matthew Heshinger. Matthew Heshinger. Congrats, Matthew. Let me uh, open this up here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put it on. Matthew, Ronald Acuna Jr., rookie card, PSA 9. Going out to you, and I'm going to email Sam your free spot as well. Uh, nope, that's, there we go. Free spots. This is the 100 at 10. And it's for 2 1969 Tops Baseball. And 2. 1973 Tops Baseball. There you go. Matthew Heshinger, congratulations. All right. Guys, the $5 bonus ends at 8 o'clock. So uh, we're closing tonight at 8. So I'm going to give away first place this 53 Tops Whitey Ford. This is our postponement special for the Yankees game being postponed till tomorrow. Give away these Yankee cards. We gave away a Roger Maris. Now it's a Whitey Ford. Uh, as you can see, it's Yankee themed. Uh, first place, we get this. Second place, we get a 69 baseball separate spot. And third place, an 84 player update spots. Also, we have our $35, 100 entries at $35. I got 10 Red Man Tobacco cards with tabs, five exhibits. Two 73 separate spots and three 75 baseball mini separate spots. So 20 total prizes. We're getting close to selling that out. That will carry over. It doesn't sell out. Uh, but the one that will not carry over is the 54 Ted Williams. I need 83 more spots left on that. Let's get that going. Um, okay. Gritty hit random. Gritty hit random. Or am I still a four? Good. Uh, let's do. Yep. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna have a little special here. <coughs> Keeping a Yankee steam. Oh, yeah, I know. He's a fanatic. Um, I'm wearing a Yankee shirt. Doug's wearing a Yankee shirt. Rob has Yankees underwear on. <laughs> Sam, unfortunately, is a Mets fan. And I say, unfortunately. They're looking for a new manager. But, you know. Uh, there's, there's talk about them hiring a former Yankee manager to be a Oh, look at that. A former Yankee manager, Sam. So, what I'm going to do is, as soon as I start this great A hit random, Sam, uh, it's going to be a. Five dollar bonus, another five dollar bonus. So for every five dollars you spent while I'm breaking this greater hit random, and by the time I end it, Sam will cut you off. First place, it's only winner take all. First place, we're going to get a Bobby Richardson, uh, sixty four tops card. And you know what? Let's make it three prizes. So first place is Bobby Richardson. 
second place is a 69 tops baseball separate spot and third place is a 84 flare update baseball spot five dollar bonus j5 special only one I'm breaking just hit random there you go First place, Bobby Richardson, 64 tops. Second place, 69 tops baseball separate spot. Third place, 84 Fleer update baseball spot. It's a $5 J5 special. As soon as I start this, it starts. And then as soon as I end it, it will be over. Here you go, Sam. Keeping it Yankee themed. Yankee themed. That is now five on the dip pitch meter for five bucks. All right, hit random, hit random. Where are thou here, random? Oh, that's right. Nobody got the names for that, huh? Oh, hit random, hit random. Sam. Uh, let's do that. 25 card hit random. There it is. Number 177. Hey Sam, mm -hmm. check the uh, the free list, the freebie list. I'm looking for a 25 card hit random. All right, I got Dana Peltier in here. Oops, Randy Cano with a spot. James Ector, Steve Venom. What's up, Steve? Michael Dewar. Chris Tickner, Dennis McAllister, Rob Geis, Casey Rowe, Leroy Kushner, James Ector again, Arnie Chura, Arnie, hope you're still watching Arnie, Dana Petier with two more spots, I like that Dana. Rob guys, twenty-five card graded here in the spot. James Gosh Shaw. One seventy-seven. Yes. I have a TBA. How many do you need? One. Yeah, I have a TBA. Who is it from? Where is it for? This promo. From. Huh? From. Huh? Where are we supposed to give it away from right now? Was it attached to that mixer you just did? Because you were supposed to give away a hit random spot. In the 80s mixer? Yeah. Read to the truth. Let's see. I'm not saying that's the answer. I just. Plus, 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 plus. Uh, that mixer? No, that was for the uh, rookie. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's a TBA here, though. Get one card. Get it out room. Three free spots. In wow, three free spots. That's crazy. Uh, okay. All right. Hold on, guys. Uh, before I do that J5 special, you still you have it open. Mm -hmm. Can you close it real quick? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where is? Free list. Free list. When you get Bradley, when you get win spots, is there any email notification or anything on the set where you can see what you are in? I have one free spot. Maybe we put out a channel. 
Yeah, Bradley, just email Sam at com, and we can give you all the free spots you uh, you want. We have a list. We track everything on our lists. It was, yeah, it was attached to one. What was it attached to? Uh, can you read uh, Gilmore's emails? Sure. Yeah, no problem, Bradley. I think I went through all of them. Nice. Hey, Mike. Braxton and I are watching closely. Very cool. What's up, Braxton? It's a great name. <clears throat> All right, guys. Hold on. Bear with us. We're trying to look. Uh, where is that last spot? I remember it was from last night. They wrote in a post it last night, remember? What is the graded rookie around? Them? No, no, no. This is the uh, twenty-five car graded around. It was, a, it was. This was seventy-five dollars to, I believe, is what it was. Sorry, I don't see anything. Gilmore's email. No. No. Yeah, this is seventy-five dollars. He wrote last night. Uh, do me a favor, call in real quick. Okay. He wrote on a poster last night, it, but I just don't remember what form it was. But. Yeah. Hey, Lynn. Uh, <coughs> hey, Arturo. I'm breaking to eight o'clock, my friend. Wait to eight o'clock. So Michael Dewar won 2009 Bowman draft spot. That was the thank you promo problem. All right. All right, guys. So I have to get that last spot we gave away last night. Uh, somebody won it. And I, I, I believe, I, I, yeah, I had to find out who won that spot. So um, I don't think Mike emailed us. Uh -uh. Oh, I mean, I'm looking for the email. Yeah, so uh, bear with us with the Greater Hit Remnant, guys. We had to find out who won that free spot last night. Uh, we never got any email on that. <clears throat> so I'm not going to pause the show, though. So I'm going to keep going. What we got. Okay, okay. Do a little basketball. 78 tops basketball. Dallas, what's up, man? Welcome back. Yeah, James, Sam's going to have to look at the video. Sam, 
Sam's got to do his research. Seventy-eight times pack ninety. This is for a 1978 Tops basketball pack number in 90. Let me just take a quick look. I'm looking for in this one. I believe it's Bernard King. Yep, Bernard King rookie card. That is what we're looking for. I have pulled, I think, two already. I believe I pulled two Bernard King rookies. Let's make a trifecta here. Eight. Eight on the random. <laughs> Arturo, you're crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. you had a promo for me like what right. <laughs> I don't interrupt you like, like Sam does All I just right. I wait my turn I exactly the game that's why I like you know? <laughs> James, tell you what, I think you're onto something. Sam, oh, you probably won't remember this, but Zay would. 2009 Tops Chrome Sapphire Box 4, last seven people. What about it? I have it here. Okay, they got Bowman Tiffany Spots. They got Bowman Tiffany Spots? Yeah. Oh, that's not it then. Man, I was hoping that was it. Oh. All right, so James was mentioning a closeout special. A pack break closeout special last night for a spot. I never saw you guys do it. Mark, that's on hold, Mark. It's on pause. I didn't start the break yet, so hold off on that. It was for a 2008 Mike Trust ball last night. That was for the uh, 2009 Bowman draft. Oh, we definitely did that one. All right, I have to, uh, we're going to have to do our research here. Uh, meanwhile, let's break this pack. Chad, first place, I mean, first, first spot for you here on the gum. Right off. Ooh, very nice, Chad. <laughs> Mark, all right, I'll put you down for that until I start it. I'll put a little uh, note here. Mark Ferreira. Get a spot, Mark. Walt Frazier. Walt Frazier, spot one. This is the gun card, Chad. Spot two, Tim Bassett. Spot three, Ron Lee. Ron Lee. Spot four, Larry Keenan. What are you, Kenan? Keenan? Cannon, Larry Cannon. I know the announcement was made last night. 
George the Iceman Gervin. Wow, that was a nice pack. Spot six, Sam Lacey. Those were Chad Barnes. Chad, I'm gonna give this one back to you. Spot seven, Foots Walker. Foots Walker. Yeah, James. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get on top of it. You know, there's a video on everything, so we just have to go through the video. Your Jim McMillian, Knicks. <laughs> so as soon as those three spots are mentioned, James, on the lane takes them down. It's just we have to make sure that we give them away so we get those names. I'm just trying to remember which one this one uh, was part of. So Mike, when he does it, he has to email us. Spot 10, Clifford Ray. <clears throat> Spot 11, David Thompson. Spot 12, Steve Hawes. What time did you close out the spot last night? Uh, <clears throat> what pack was that, James? Wilbur Holland, spot 13. Spot 14, John uh, Gianelli. Gianelli for the Bucks. 78 Tops Basketball Pack to 90 in the books. Okay. All right, let's see what else we got here. random stuff all right I got 81 Dunlop's golf 80 tops hockey of 80 tops 81 tops basketball on to you guys <clears throat> I'm not I'm not, uh, if Sam doesn't find that spot then I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow the great hit random uh, I'm not gonna pause the show I'm only here for another half an hour so um, but I'll be on tomorrow again at four so once we get that spot we'll just do it then but yeah Sorry about that, guys. But I had to give away the 63 mantle for the 80s mixer. Um, Rob, do you have those packs? No. The 80s mixer? Thanks. Okay. 
month left in the immaculate base. So, wow, already. What's up, Eric? James, yep, the mixture is coming up. to the random so Tom I'm gonna do it here I'm gonna apply it onto this hit random not hit random into this break so instead of the gridded hit random I'm gonna apply it to this uh, 80s mixer so let me put up the title you guys get ready there you go Starting now, so uh, I gave it to Sam, but it was the uh, five dollar bonus. First place gets a sixty-four tops. Bobby Richardson, Sam, is that what it was? Bobby Richardson baseball card. Second place gets a sixty-nine baseball separate spot, and third place gets a eighty-four fear update baseball separate spot. So for five dollars until I finish this mixer. All right. So for every five dollars you spend, you get now you get to penta dip uh, for five bucks. Uh, if you spent 50, you pented it into everything. So it starts now, uh, and I think I had to add Mark, Mark Ferreira, and Mark. So this 80s baseball mixer three, and. So, Mark Ferreira, where are you, Mark? Mark, yeah, you got your one spot. So, I got you for one spot. <clears throat> All right, it starts now. $5, little J5 special. Uh, meanwhile, let's get this uh, 80s mixer. 90 cards total. And... Give out a uh, chance nice 225. Give out a spot in what you were calling the rookie created hit random. No, that's not it, uh, Rob. That wasn't it. That was the that's a rookie hit random. Um, it, we gave out a spot in the $75 graded hit random with the 57 mantle. That's the one we're looking for from last night. Uh, I think that uh, the email was misplaced, um, so Sam never got it. Um, so once he finds it, though. Yeah, we'll just do it tomorrow. That's not an issue. Okay, I just want to make sure I have the packs in the right order. 82 tops, 83 Donruss, 83 tops. Here up, 83 tops, baseball. And then 84 Donruss, and 83 tops, baseball. I'm going by the list. Yeah, hey, three tops, okay. right, right corner. Three tops? Yep. So, 83 Donruss. Yep, 82 tops. 83 Donruss. 83 tops. Thank you, sir. Uh, 84 Donruss. 84 Fleer. And, and. 84 Fleer and 89 Upper Deck. Which one is this? Mixer? It's the eighties mixer with three bonus. What does it say? Yeah, with three bonus uh, rookie here on the spots. So it's ninety cards. So eighty four Fleer and the eighty upper deck. Oh, sorry, sorry, what, what looking at? Yep, mixer three. The 80s. Yep, eighties. So let me get an 89 upper deck, and we'll call it before that there. Okay, so ready? 82 tops, uh, 82, 82 tops baseball, 83 Donruss, 83 tops, 84 Donruss, 84 Fleer, and 89 upper deck. All right. Now, I'm going to randomize the list once. 
give a uh, sorry you're calling it uh, James Phillips. I want a promo with a hit random spot last night. Not sure which one. James Phillips. Take a look. James Phillips. Uh, what time was that on, James? Because I got James Ector for the rookie hit random. I got Mark Ferreira for the rookie hit random. I don't see your name, though. So what time was that done? James. James Phillips. Because that might be it. Alright, so I got 15, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Okay, let's randomize the list. Four, three. Here we go. Four. <clears throat> Four on the random. One. Two. Three. Four. Email the crew, and we are good to go. This is 80s baseball wax pack mixer number three. 82 tops baseball, 83 thorn runs, 83 tops, um, 84 thorn runs, 84 flare, and 89 upper deck. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Eric, Immaculate Baseball Soul. Work some overtime tonight. J5, pop that bad one a bit. Yeah, Eric, I'll do that. So, Rob, can you give me the names for the Immaculate Baseball, or do we not have that yet? Uh... So, Eric, uh, I think, yeah. So, Eric, I just, Sam just uh, let me know that we actually, that's on the way in. Eric, it's on the way in. We have a new shipment of that stuff coming in. I thought I had one more, but that's National Treasures. That's 2018 National Treasures I have in front of me. I have two 2019's Bowman Sterling. Uh, so Eric, yeah, man, uh, that's one of the boxes that's coming in. I'm hoping, Sam, do you know when? Friday. Friday, wow, Friday. Everything's All right, everything's coming in Friday, Eric. Every, the whole shipment of Panini uh, Immaculate, uh, I think, what else are we getting? Uh, Immaculate Baseball, National Treasure. I'm getting a lot of stuff in. So, uh, yeah, Eric, so I'm sorry, man. But don't worry, we will break it. Oh, we're just getting more luminaries. We're getting a whole <coughs> shipment of stuff for you guys on Friday. So we will, once it comes in, Eric, we will break it for you. Don't worry. I promise you. All right, Arnie, first card for you right here. 82 tops, baseball. Nice, I'll be at when it don't matter. <laughs> uh, you guys are too far. Mickey Klutz. Oh, Mickey, such a klutz. For card number one. Yeah, Eric, I will do that for you Friday. So once it comes in, I go live at four. Yeah, we get all of our stuff before four o'clock. So it'll probably be like one of the first things we do on that, that Friday show. Uh, it will be me, so I'll be breaking it. So don't worry, Eric. Tune in on Friday, unless you have a specific time uh, that, you, that you can watch live. Then just email me, Eric. John at justcollect.com. Tell me what time works for you on Friday. Spot two, rolling office. Hey Chris, yeah, so we have to find a, a spot, a missing spot, and I don't feel comfortable in doing it right now because I only have like 20 minutes here. 
So if, if Sam finds it, we'll do it. If not, uh, we'll do it tomorrow. At least we have in the morning to find out who that spot belongs to. Um, I have a feeling it's James Phillips. Because James Phillips mentioned that he won a promo with a hit random, but he wasn't sure which one. So it might be James Phillips. Early in night, I was still at work. It was before my 75 Rat Pack. All right, so Sam, now we have more clarity on where it might be. Ron Davis, spot three. Spot four. Thanks, James. Appreciate it, man. P. Falcone. Again, we'll just go over the video, guys. We'll go over the video. We'll have time. We'll get that last spot, and then uh, we'll do it for you. But right now, we're having a J5 special, $5 bonus. Uh, well, I break only. Just 80s mixer. Terry Puel. First place going to get a 64 tops Bobby Richardson card. Second place a 69 tops baseball separate spot. And third place a 84 Fleer update baseball separate spot. Spot six, Lamar Hoyt. And because since you guys sold this out, I gave away a 63 uh, Roger Maris card. And Roger, uh, not Roger, James Gushaw won it. Won it. James Gushaw. Spot seven, Lance Parrish. Wow, opening night for our brand new $19 million library. Holy moly, that's a lot of money. Eric, where, where can we find pictures of this library? Um, obviously, you can't put a website on the chat because Nightbot will block you. Uh, but just give us like the the middle part without the www and without the .com. So we can check it out. I, I would love to see what a $19 million library looks like. There's an extra. This is uh, Ellis Valentine. He's going to Arnie Chura. Arnie, that's an extra insert for you. There you go, Arnie. All right, spot eight. Doug DeCensus. Spot nine. Reggie Cleveland for the Brewers. Spot ten. Floyd Bannister. First five will get extras. What's that, James? First five will get extras. Oh, from the packs, gotcha. Oscar Gamble, spot eleven. Spot twelve, Jim Palmer. Very nice, Hall of Famer, Jim Palmer. For James Gutshaw. James, that's a nice Palmer, my friend. That is nice. Just a little off center, top to bottom. Just a smudge off. Yeah, just a little bit. That's a solid, solid card right there. Jim Palmer. Spot 13, Wayne Garland. I don't think we have a ton of pictures posted yet. Two days until opening, they are still rushing to finish an embarrassing amount. <laughs> Isn't it always like that, Eric? Isn't it always like that? Found it. Check time. 4.32 last night. James, did you win it? Did you win uh, uh, that greater hit random spot? Found it. Check time. 4.32. 4, 4.32. 4.32 p.m.? Is that Pacific Coast time, James? Would that be 7.30 Eastern time? Glenn Adams. <laughs> oh, Tom. Spot 15, Gary Lavelle. Sam, I think James Phillips found the prey. 
He said 4.32 last night, but I, I believe that's Pacific time. So it might be 7.32 Eastern time. When we give away that spot. Right. Seven thirty-two marks in the middle of a break. So James, uh, seven thirty-two is what you meant. It can't be four thirty-two last night because that was me. I don't remember giving away that spot. Sixteen, David Melcher, right here in the front, my friend. Got the puzzle. Yeah, it was four thirty-two. It was me. Yep. What did I do? I gave it a hit, hit right in the spot. It was two hundred and twenty-five. Oh, I announced it. No, you're giving it away. Okay. I guess it was left over from the Chantilly show. Okay. Who won it? This is for James Ector. Eric, now that I'm home from the dental chair, I can enjoy. Welcome. <clears throat> James, that's your free uh, puzzle. That was 15. Can you pass her to have one? Yeah. Spot 16. Let's turn this bad boy around. Steve Comer. There we go. Glad you can make it. Doing this 80s mixer. Spot 17, Andy Hassler. It was 225. All right, Sam Founder, James. Sam Founder, he's listening to it right now. James Ector, Andy Hassler. Steve Trout, spot 18. Ken Maxey. Two hundred and Spot 19, Mark Hill. Mark Hill. Is that it? I don't want to stand up. Steve Henderson. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's all a saint. 21, Rob Geis. What about your sample? Billy Sample. He's probably the same way. Yeah. He's listening and trying to figure out the wow. spot. <laughs> it was me. Uh, you don't have to say in that tone, James Phillips. Miguel Delon. 22. Oh, yeah. All right, let's scroll down. 23. Willie Akins. <laughs> he was night, Bob. <laughs> Davy Lopez, spot twenty four. Twenty five Warren Cromarty. There's no email because it was a rookie graded hit random spot. Was it and you went into the freebie list and just put him in. That's what you just said. Uh, let me just check. 
Oh, yeah, I did put him in. Yeah. That wasn't it. That's not that one. Thanks, James, but that wasn't it. You won a, a rookie uh, rookie graded hit around the spot, James. I put it in myself. Spot 26, Don Werner. Oh, I could have just told you it wasn't it because that was 430. What? I could have told you that wasn't it because when he handed it to us like at 8 or 9. Remember, we were figuring out that, um, what was that box? The Sapphire box. I, I kneeled next to you. Yeah. Yeah, that was at that time he gave it to us. Brian Clark, spot 27. 28, Ken Forsh. Guys, J5 Special is still alive. For every $5 you spent until I finish breaking this, uh, you'll get a spot into this giveaway. First place getting a 64 tops Bobby Richardson card. Second place gets a 69 tops baseball separate spot. And third place an 84 Fear Update baseball separate spot. 29, Ernesto Escarrega. 30, Glenn Brummer. Yeah, James, I entered it, but that was a rookie graded hit random. It's not the one we're looking for. It's okay. We'll we'll find it tomorrow, uh, and then I'll be able to uh, to break it. Uh, okay, thirty one. This is thirty one. Dana, first card for you right here under the gun. Ed Farmer. Ed Farmer. You found it? Hmm? I thought you said, oh, there you go. That was nice. Oh, Glenn Gulliver. Sorry, Man, I'm hoping we can find it so I can do it tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow. Mike said, there you go at the same time. So I was like, can you hear what I'm listening to? <laughs> That's crazy. Spot 33. Jack O'Connor. Thirty-four. Bob Horner. Thirty-five. Dave LaRoche. Super veteran. Kurt Bevacqua, Padres, 36. <laughs> we'll put it a TBA to be announced later. Roger Erickson for the Yankees. Thanks, James. Appreciate the help. This is nothing. 38. Ooh. 38. Manuel Ortega. Mr. Nolan Ryan. 83 tops. There you go, buddy. So a little off center. Just a little. That's solid right there, Manuel. Nice Nolan Ryan. I think that's the first time I pull a Nolan Ryan from an 83 tops baseball pack. Finally. Awesome. 39, Dana, Lou Pinella, very nice. <laughs> 40, Tony Armas, or Armas. Forty one, Jimmy Sexton. Forty two Mike Norris or Russ Let me scroll down forty three Lance Parish 
John. What's good, man? At 43, Ken Maxey. 44, Mike Fishlin. 44, Mike Fishlin. John, you're next. 45, John Wayne. Dickie Thon. Everyone's favorite baseball player name. Dickie Thon. There you go, John. All right, next up, 46. Mark Ferrara, right here. Puzzle. This one's going up to... Russ Dumontier. Rusty, the puzzle piece. Come on, Donnie. I'll take a Gary Carter at 46. This is for uh, Mark Ferrara. There you go, buddy. It's a nice Gary Carter rookie card. Not rookie. Gary Carter card. Just a little off-center left to right. 47, checklist. Nice, John. Baseball checklist for... Dana Peltier. 48. What is this? Nice. Just a little trim of the baseball sheet. It's a little trim at the end there. Tom Tellman. Forty nine, Jeff Jones. Fifty, Greg Pryor. Fifty one, Bruce Baroni. Fifty two. Craig McMurtry. 51. Nice. 2001 Bowman Chrome. Very cool. What are you going to do with it, John? Dave Rigetti, 53. 54. Julio Franco. That's not a joke. Julio Franco. 55, Bill Dolly. 56, Domingo Ramos. 57, Dwayne Cooper. 58, Joel Skinner. 59, Chris Smith, a rookie. 58, 60 will be right here in the front, Ken. 4 this is for James Ector oh, nice little Pete Rose for Ken Maxey there you go bud 61 Leon Roberts Sixty two, Danny Heap. Sixty three, Tom Bergmeier. Sixty 
This is 84 rear. Okay. Let me scroll down. 64 Frank Lacorte. Lacorte. 65 Terry Francona. <clears throat> Sixty six Ron Hassey. Sixty seven Chris Spear. Sixty eight Tim Tufel. Sixty nine Donnie Moore. Seventy Bob Welch, seventy one Alfredo Griffin, <clears throat> seventy two Mike Marshall, seventy three Denny Dennis Leonard. Seventy four Ernie Witt, Blue Jays. All right, <clears throat> All right last pack. <clears throat> uh, Seventy five is James Ector, right here in the front, my man. <clears throat> Damon Berryhill. Seventy six Casey Candale. It's not Candle, is it? Casey Candle. Seventy seven Ernie Witt. Seventy eight Danny Darwin. Seventy nine. Andy Van Slyke, 80, that was a turn, Brian Holton, 81, Dave Lapointe, 81, Dave Lapointe, oh nice Eric, <clears throat> these are Probably no good for James. 82, Chris Bosio. 6.30 to 8 is done, guys. 6.30 to 8 is done. Your J5 special is still running, though. Yeah, my J5 special is still running. 84, Luis Aguayo. I used to play in a basketball league with Ernie. <laughs> Rob, was he any good? Did he have a jumper? I'm pretty sure he had a jump. Rick O'Rodin. 86. Dave Rucker. 87. Jose Lind. 88. Odell Jones. 89. Steve Lyons. 90. I was short of the card. One of the packs had one card short. So Mark, I'm going to give you a refund of that. Missing card. Okay, now randomize the list one more time. All right, you know, I 
just want to make sure I read this right. Every spot purchase will get one card and 80 spenders. And, uh, plus, we will do a separate random to see who gets the three free spots in a 125 PSA. It's a graded rookie hit random. So three spots. So I guess one, two, and three will get spots in our rookie hit random. All right. Oh, got to run them as a list. Nice. What's up, Mark? What happened? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it was upper deck though, Mark. It could have been the other packs too. It could have been the 84 Flare or it could have been the 83 Tops. I don't know about 89 upper deck. I'm pretty sure it wasn't 89 upper deck. I will have to recount the cards. Uh, all right. Where in take a look? Uh, what? James Gosher. Just go over the goal line of the Fire Special or WTA. So James. Hold on, let me do this random first, James. All right, let me do this random first. I need one, two, and three. 60 started upper deck. Oh, so it was upper deck. Wow, that's crazy. So upper deck shorty your card. All right, here we go. One more random, guys. Top three will get a free spot in a rookie graded hit random. Wow, that flew. That is a five. So nine times one, two, James Ector, James Ector, Dana Pelty, A, three, Stephen Thomas on top, four, James Ector on top. Holy crap, look at that one. James, one through seven on that one. Five, bless you, five. James Ector on top, six. Six, James Ector on top. Seven, James Ector on top. Eight, Ken Maxi on top. All right, the top three to get a free spot in a rookie credit hit random are at nine. Oh, Dana Peltier, Russ Dumontier, Mark Ferreira. You guys just won three free spots in our rookie graded hit random. James, that's crazy, James. All right, I'm gonna email this to Sam. This is a uh, rookie graded hit random spots. This is for 80s mixer. Wow. Oh, I did not see that coming. Tell me I recorded that. This was the last one. Uh, this one. Okay. Son of a monkey. I didn't record it. I thought I recorded this. Did not record this. Um, all right, but that was the uh, 80s baseball blast pack mixture number three, guys. Congratulations to Dana, Russ, and Mark for winning a free gritty, gritty hit random. Yeah, Mark. There you go, buddy. So J5 special is done. Let's do that real quick. Sam, can I get that one? The, the card. The Bobby Richardson. Thank you, sir. Did you see 
see Venom's comment. Oh, Steve, you're the man, Steve. Closeout special starting at eight twenty-five. Closeout seven breaks of the of this next. You want it? That's I'm gonna it. Write it down. That's the answer. I'm yeah. Gonna write it down. Okay, Steve, you're the man. We're gonna go ahead and uh, research that video, and see who the winner of that. Um, I remember that now. That was a closeout special. Somebody mentioned it before, but I just didn't know what time. I I don't. I was. I had to. I to find out. Uh, we'll check the, the Steve did you see the video did he actually do it if not then we have to do it tomorrow and all we have to do is check the timestamp and see who are the seven people to close out a break we'll randomize it and give it away yeah I have it written down nice alright thank you Steve appreciate it man uh, alright so J5 special and Mark Mark Ferreira I have to give you a spot in this one because you started it before everybody all right, Mark, I got you in there. All right, so let's do the J5 special. Here we go. Uh, I need the top three, the top three. Seven on the random. Steve, all right, so that's the reason why we never got an we'll email. We'll check the video. If it wasn't given away, we'll give it away tomorrow. Yep. If it's not, it will, if it wasn't done, Steve, then we'll do it. We'll check the timestamp. Who see who the seven people were. Thank you for the start. Randomize it tomorrow. That helped a lot. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right. Top three at seven are Rusty, Manor Ortega, and Nick Matiachi. Those are my top three. Thank you, guys. All right. Now, the last thing I will do. Sam, you're good. All right. So, Bobby Richardson is going to Russ D. Congrats, Russ. There you go, buddy. Now, second place and third place is Manuel and Nick. I'll email Sam these two spots. J5 special. Manuel, 1969. Is the weather outside? I don't know. We went offline for some reason. It's, it still says it live stream offline. Refresh. Okay. Refresh. Okay, I think you're back up. I should be back up now, right? We're good, guys. Are you, you guys are seeing me live. Yeah. We're good, right? Yeah. It's. I've had to restart twice. I don't know if it's just because of the weather outside. Yeah. Is it Sean? Like the chat's not showing up, but the screen is. Am I live? Am I on there? It shows you. I'm good. Yeah, you're. I can see. You. Okay, just... good. Back online. I don't know what happened there, guys. Yeah, we went cool. offline for some reason. It's just going to be weather issues. I don't know. All right. So, did you guys, did, what did you guys miss? Did you miss anything? I didn't do anything besides Russ winning. <laughs> <laughs> Russ, Russ won the uh, Bobby Richardson card. Second place and third place got for, uh, separate spots. Let me refresh this just in case. All right. So, we're good. All right. Last thing of the night, guys, is the 6.30 to 8, $5 bonus. All right, so $5 bonus is done. It's done, okay. After 8.25, James Phillips. Yep, got it. Thanks, James. All right. Last thing we're going to do is a 6.30 to 8. This is for our 6.30 to 8 $5 bonus. We're going to give away three prizes. All you have to do is spend $5 during checkout to get one entry. First place, 
is going to get this 1953 Topps Whitey Ford for first place. Second place going to get a 69 Baseball Separate Spot. And third place, an 84 Fleer Update Baseball Separate Spot. Let's randomize the list. Good luck, everyone. Scott, 125 at 50. That did not sell out. That did not sell out, Scott. That one had to. I had to fill that up in order to give it out. It was. It was we guys had to eight o'clock. So yeah, the one twenty five fifty did not close out, guys. We're down to like seventy something spots left, so it did not close out. Um, so I had to put it back. But for every fifty dollars you spend, you did get entries into our fifty dollar all week special. So you guys were double dipping at that point, regardless. All right, here we go. Four. Four on the random. One. James Ector on top. Two. Hey, Nick, you won the uh, 84 Flare Baseball Update. Separate spot. 84 Flare Update. Separate spot. Manuel Ortega won the 69 Tops Baseball. Separate spot. Rob Geis on top at two. Three. Jeffrey G on top. And my top three at four are, wow, Jeff McDonald, Michael Naparowski, and Dennis McAllister. You guys made my top three. There we go. Jeff McDonald, congrats, man. Jeff, there's your 53 tops, Whitey Ford. Very cool. And second place is going to get a 69 baseball separate spot from Michael Naparowski. And 84 Fleer updates goes to uh, Dennis McAllister. So I'm going to email this out to Sam. Free spots. Uh, $5 bonus. Six thirty to eight. Sixty-nine tops baseball. And Dennis McAllister, nineteen eighty-four clear update baseball. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, Matthew, one hundred at thirty-five. Okay, well, that was a six thirty to eight five out of bones. Thank you guys. All right, Jeff, you're all set. Uh, one hundred and thirty. Let's see if it sold out. Sam would have just emailed me. No. Uh, Matthew, this does not sell out, but this is carrying over. So I will carry this over for tomorrow. Uh, this is the only one that's carrying over. Though 125.50, it's not carrying over. Uh, but you guys did some work on that, so I appreciate it. Uh, and the $50 all week, that's all week until Sunday. So this is carrying over, guys. One uh, The 100 at 35. So Tune in for tomorrow. We'll close that out. We'll give it away. All right. That will do it for us. Guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in with us for the PSA show. And for now, on behalf of myself, Sam, Doug, and Rob, have a good night. Enjoy the rest of the evening. And we'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time where we'll do the Gritted Hit Random. We're going to do a bunch of packs and boxes and bunch of good stuff thank you so much guys we'll see you tomorrow thanks scott see you tomorrow